Yep, we did it. <laughs> we got to those 500 subs on the channel. Welcome, Bleep Mop. You were first again. Correct. Uh, yeah, we hit 500 subs. So thank you very much, everyone. If you're watching it now, we're watching on lots. Thank you very much, everyone who subscribed to the channel already. Uh, it's only 500 subs, but it's it, we've done pretty good. So we've been... Uh, I've been streaming on YouTube for less than a year, so um, I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, hitting 500 allows us to, uh, well, allows me. Uh, in, in October sometime, they're unlocking a bunch of extra features if you get 500 subs. So uh, community posts and uh, you know, being able to do like offline polls and things like that are going to be unlocked once that goes live. So uh, that's going to be pretty good for us because um, I'll be able to post in there, you know, like, which achievement do you guys want me to go for, or think of playing this game, what do you think, or, you know, if I'm not going to be streaming for whatever reason, I can give updates through there rather than, you know, like, Twitter or something where nobody looks anyway. So, uh, <laughs> so yeah, 500 subs, so thank you very much everyone who subbed to the channel, I appreciate it a lot. Um, not doing too bad. Um, today, we are going to be forming the Utrima Empire. I think it's going to happen today. We've got we've got three hours or so, so I think we're going to make good progress. The only, I think the only thing that could really stop us is if the remnants of the Mongols cause us problems, or if we start getting some weird rebellions uh, within our land, which both could happen. Um, but we're just going to get to it, and uh, yeah, welcome everyone to the stream. It's a good old time. Uh, oh, actually, before I forget, um, I will be doing a bonus stream on Friday. I guess kind of as a bit of a celebration for 500 subs. Um, I'm not sure what we're going to do. Um, because I think we'll have this kind of campaign finished by then. So I've not decided what we're going to play, but I'm going to be doing a stream on Friday. And it's going to be a little bit earlier in the day. I'm going to try go from about 12 midday Pacific till about 5 or 6 o'clock Pacific. So um, it'll be about 7 hours earlier <laughs> than this one. And uh, we're just going to see what we get up to. Uh, like I said, I've not decided what to play yet. We might play Crusader Kings, we might mix it up and play something different um, before we start our next campaign in uh, in Crusader Kings, but I'll decide and we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I'm sure we'll think of something. Um, but yeah, we're just going to get to it. So uh, yeah, I think we're going to go for uh, these guys, or do we still have the truce with them? I can't remember, to be honest. I know we only played yesterday. Look at all these truces we've got. <laughs> Uh, do we not have a truce with them? Oh, I don't think we do. I think they're, they're basically the only people we don't have a truce with. <laughs> Seize the Republic of the Euphrates. Uh, we could do that. We actually have more claims, so we'll actually do that instead. Uh, let's have a look, though, for... Uh, what's our uh, offensive war modifier? I can't see it. Maybe we don't have one. No. <laughs> Incompetent Chancellor, minus 25. Uh, oh, can we can get you to convert? Oh, we've already tried doing that. So I don't know if it's different. Is it? Oh, I wonder if it's we've been fighting uh, other uh, religions. Do you not get the offensive war modifier? I don't know if that's specific to this mod. Or maybe because we are fighting other religions we don't get the modifier but we haven't got yeah we haven't got any offensive war modifiers so yeah we can just keep uh keep going to war because i don't think yeah we're 40 so no we've been playing a while so sure let's uh let's do it get our claims here and we're just going to get to it let me turn that sound up a bit there you go maybe a little bit more <laughs> it's been quiet today for some reason uh yes so i didn't actually look to see who they had uh allied with them but i don't think they actually have anyone well they do oh no they do they have these guys that's why we weren't declaring war on them <laughs> well do you know what doesn't matter does it uh we'll just get these holy orders as well Ten thousand extra troops that'll do us nicely uh, we'll get the grandmaster and we'll We'll come up here with them. Yeah, for some reason, the sound seems very quiet. Uh, I haven't finished a single stream in this Jerusalem campaign. <laughs> well, you know, I know it's a uh, it's a it's a, it's a late a late hour or a very early hour for a lot of people. So I appreciate if you uh, if you just stop by. Uh, so yeah, we're going to raise everyone. 
It's going to cost us some money. We've got 2,000. They underestimate your power. I think they do, to be honest. Uh, right. I don't think we need this as one massive stack. There we go. And we'll just bring them down here. And then we can keep an eye on where they arrive. Oh, they're already here. Nice. Okay. Oh, it looks like they have a rebellion of their own anyway. Oh, they do. They're in two different wars as well. Sweet. Uh, we'll pick up... Uh, do we want to pick this up? I think we do. I think it gives us pretty good stuff. Yeah, one prestige a month, two diplomacy and one martial. Yeah, John, we'll, we'll, we'll get this and then we'll finish going down the diplomat tree. Uh, I think that'll do us pretty well. You might as well just stand... I don't want you somewhere you're not going to take attrition. This will do. Wait, do you not have any... Oh, did all the siege stuff go here? It did. Okay. Split in half, and then our... Uh... <laughs> our siege stuff just stayed in one of the stacks instead of the other one. Oh. Mesopotamia. Okay. Well, we're going to stay doing this war. Looks like they've unified it. You made it this time. Well, thank you very much for uh, coming along. You haven't missed much. You've just missed us celebrating the 500 subs for the channel, so... Oh, here they come now. So yeah, we'll, 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 we'll stay over here. And then if they head towards us, we can, uh, we can attack them. Uh, we just got Renaissance Thought. Let's have a look. Oh, yes, yeah, so we've got the Oman Cloaks. We've got Renaissance Thought, so we can now get better um, development everywhere. I guess we'll go for this. We can get the upgraded buildings. And then we've only got three. Uh, three of these left to go. Domain limit plus one, which would be quite useful for us at the moment. Uh, we can press multiple claims. This one is good as well. And cranes. Uh, makes us more money, but to be honest, we're making quite a lot of money. So uh, this one is useful, but these two are way better. And we'll pick this one up, because then we can upgrade some of our uh, buildings. Which I think will be pretty good. Uh, yeah, let's, we'll just ransom these off, get some money. Uh, do, we, do you know what? I'm just going to head straight for the... Well, not straight for the capital, but we are going to head towards their capital now. And we're going to leave these guys up here, doing whatever they fancy doing. And then we'll have everyone in one place, and we can just charge... You know, if they come towards us, we can just unify all our forces. But, I mean, look how quick we're sieging this down. That is crazy. Having these bombards is uh, pretty ridiculous, to be honest. Yeah, we'll bury the hatchet. The lure of language. Uh, ruling the multicultural kingdom of Jerusalem comes with its own set of challenges. Foreign subjects often feel alienated. And they cannot speak their native tongues in court, breeding resentment. My vassal, Duchess N Nigan, she's got one of them cool helms. Uh, the, I think they have a Mongol descendant uh, helms. Uh, suggests that I could significantly improve relations with my Ugas subjects by learning to speak their language alongside my own. Um, why bother? Outrima is clearly superior, of course. I don't care, you should convert to my culture. We're not gonna. I'm going to go learn your culture. Ours is obviously superior. Uh, we conquered you, so we're obviously better. <laughs> I think that's how that works. Uh, right, we've taken this. What are we at? 73%. Okay, we'll head down here. We are going to have to, have to watch out if they start heading too much towards us. Yeah, here they come. Okay, we'll head up here, because we can unify our armies. Oh, no, they've... Oh, do you know what? I'm... I think they're going to come down and try and remove this, so... Now, let's go around the... Oh, no, they are going to attack us. Maybe? They're thinking about it? <laughs> Potentially. Well, we're at 80%, so we're going to win this um, if we can manage to get them into a battle. If they come and attack us now, now they're going to run away. Oh, we're at 91%, that's not too bad. You were, you were correct, though. They did underestimate us. We are going to absolutely destroy them. Uh, hunt. Rampaging boar. 
As my cousin Duke Adelbert and I crest a hill, we hear it. The snapping of twigs, the rustle of branches, birds screaming in fright as they as they are heralds announcing its arrival. A massive boar heading straight for us. We do look pretty scared there, though. You can't tell. Oh, no, that's Duke Adelbert. He's, he's got his helm on, so you can't see. The path ends here with us. 18% chance of dying, so we're not going to do that. Uh, help Adelbert do something, or, because we have such high diplomacy, no harder to handle than a jilted courtier. We, we get friend of animals for 20 years. Well, it's the special option, so that's the one we do. What does friends of animals give us? 0.2 prestige a month, and stress loss 25%. Nice. Okay, that's that's pretty decent. 97%. Uh, we'll just siege down... Actually, we maxed out battle. No, we can get more percentage from battles. So we'll fight these guys and it'll be done. <laughs> you gotta get those Star Wars memes in there. Freedom, justice, security. Your new empire? And in the background, it's just the Pope. Go and do it. <laughs> anyway, we won. <laughs> we did all that for some a tiny amount of land, but you know what? It's all fun. Uh, right, let's give out this land. So this is part of uh, Samara. Don't know if we can make that yet. Grant that to somebody. Oh, yeah, we, we actually took the title, didn't we? Yeah, the Euphrates. Right, we'll give that away to somebody. Uh, this guy, maybe this guy. I appreciate you, dude. You've got n no idea how much I get Star Wars references. <laughs> I'm quite quite well known for my for my Star Wars memes, so uh, I I definitely get them. Right, let's see. You should convert now. Yeah, hundred percent chance. Uh, what else do we have? We're two over, so I'll give. Like I said, we'll give this away to. Hmm, don't really want to give that to her. We'll, we'll, we'll give it to uh, just someone random. In our court? Balaban. Good old Balaban. No, he's a, he's a heretic. No. This guy. Oh, he's also a heretic. But we'll give him the land, and then he'll convert. Well, he better have to. Yeah, 100% chance. Nice. And then we won. We're won over still. I think we've got some more land down here. Yeah, we did. And that is part of the Haf Hafazid duchy, which we don't currently own any more of. So again, we'll give this to somebody else. So then when we have more of the land, we can uh, we can give it to uh, this dude. And hopefully again, he'll convert as well. <laughs> Balaban is an absolute unit. He was an absolute unit. Where is Balaban? Is this him? Oh. I can't remember who... <laughs> Do we give it to this guy? No. Well, whatever he is. Good old Balaban. Uh, anyway, yeah, there we go. We've given away all that land, so we can't get uh, people get mad at us. We've got so many people to ransom. Let's get rid of all of them. 11 of them. Look how much money we've got. Crazy. Uh, yes, yeah, so we did that war in the end, and then what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll go to war with Mesopotamia for the rest of this land as soon as we can. Good holy war for the entire kingdom. I think we probably will end up doing that. Yeah, I think we might just holy war for the entire uh, con uh, the, the entire kingdom next time. I think that's going to work out pretty well for us. Oh, nice, he did convert, and he's going to convert as well. And then let's see where can we get some more. Oh yeah, you, I forgot how bad this guy was. Yeah, he's terrible. Um. I think we need to take this land up here, so we'll try to get a claim on that. We're not going to be able to get the duchy claim, but I think we only need this county anyway. Uh, for the hundredth time, let's check. <laughs> let's check. Uh, oh no, we need both of these. So we need um, uh, Mayafuquin and Bakria. So we need, we'll get claims on both of these, and then we can go to war with... Uh, the remnants of the Mongols, and then we need to take all of this off them as well, uh, which we can work on next time. Although it looks like they're losing, yeah, they're losing all these wars, so a bunch of this land might uh, might escape their control, and then we can deal with them. 
after that. Do you still have... Oh, we can attack you now? Yes. So these are all the guys who won that independence war against us yesterday, if you were here. Uh, we did lose uh, Najid, uh, Adrianopolis, Sid, <laughs> and Cilicia and Udini. We lost these yesterday in an independence war that we lost because I was being uh, silly and doing wars totally incorrectly. Uh, not for the first time. And uh, yeah, so we're going to go to a war and take all this back. Just going to siege. Siege. Seize our du jour land. Can't even talk properly today. Uh, let's get this. We'll put a spawn in the mountains here somewhere. There we go. Nine months? I mean, I suppose it is. <laughs> it's across the map. Well, across the... Uh, across Arabia from where we last spawned. Oh, this is more than enough, though. 32,000. Uh, that'll do us. Well, in fact... Uh, let's split these in half. Oh, again. It didn't split the, uh, the bombards again. That's weird. Right, you guys go here. Go on, get moving, because I want to combine the other stacks. There we go. Oh, the other stacks. <laughs> I forgot to cancel where the other guy was moving. Okay, stay there. Uh, Super fight. Uh, I was reading. I was reading on Reddit, where if you expect an alliance against you when you declare a holy war, you might as well declare against all of them at the same time since you have to fight them all anyway. I'm not sure if that's good advice or not. Um, you mean declare like separate wars? Um, yeah, I suppose that makes sense, actually. Yeah, because yeah, cause if you don't raise your armies, you can declare multiple wars at the same time. So yeah, I guess if we were going to holy war, uh, we'll keep it easy. If, say, if Egypt and Nubia were a... Uh, or a, another culture um, and we had a claim on the kingdom of Egypt and we had a claim on the kingdom of Nubia um, and we knew they'd holy war alliance against us in a defensive way um, yeah I suppose it, it, yeah that's actually a good good point well wow, Reddit actually with a good point um, yeah you could declare if you knew they were going to ally against you in defense yeah yeah you might as well declare two wars on it that's a really good point actually Joe I never even thought about that yeah, because they, they both would probably defend. Um, well, usually. There are some times where it doesn't happen. But if you if you knew you could take them on anyway, then yeah, it'd be worth doing. Because I think we've all seen it where it says they're going to they join, and then they just say no, and they don't come and help. But uh, yeah, I think they probably, uh, they probably would. But yeah, that's definitely a good, uh, good thinking there. Uh, no, don't do anything else. Oh yeah, I'm going to invest some of this money. So we've got so much here. Do this. Oh, we really need to upgrade the castle there. Oh, we can't. 14, I guess that's the highest. Do this. And this. And none of these can be upgraded. Oh, no, we can't upgrade the castle either. There we go. And we still got one and a half thousand gold, so uh, <laughs> we're not going uh, short of money. Right, where did they go to sieges? Oh, there they are. We'll come down and fight them. And then, yeah, we, we should have this war wrapped up pretty easily. And then we'll attack uh, Idiopolisid. Oh, an Assassin's Creed reference. <laughs> what is? I'm intrigued now. What's, uh, what's an Assassin's Creed reference? I can't say I've ever... Oh, nice. It's going with a bunch of money. Uh, I can't say I've ever finished Assassin's Creed. I've tried like three or four of them, and I just never can finish them. I always just uh, give up after a while. Uh, right, so we've got the claim on the first place here. So now we're going to get a claim on here, and then we can go to war for that. 
Uh, Masyaf is the setting of the first... Oh, is it? Oh, nice. That's pretty cool. There we go, we've won. Thank you very much, guys. You're back. <laughs> You're back under our control. And same with you guys, I think. Duchess Euphrasia. Uh, are we going to take you out next? Oh, off a of vassalage. Would you accept this? It's only minus eight. Joe, you know, we could probably send them some money. They might just willingly vassalize to us. Yeah, they will. Okay, we'll just do that instead. Nice. So yeah, because we went down diplomatic, we get all those modifiers to help people join us. And then, because they're the, they're the same religion as us, uh, like this guy might even... Oh, the other guy died, who used to annoy us all the time here. Oh no, Matt, no, he, he will not. <laughs> he will not do that. He fought for independence against me? No, he didn't. It was your father. It wasn't him. Oh no, it is him. No, he just changed his clothes. No, no, it is this guy. He's just... I don't know why, for some reason, he's changed what he's wearing. Well, in that case, my friend... Oh, we don't even have a claim on it? Oh. Oh, I guess it's not du jour part of our realm. He's actually winning a war against the uh, Rustimids. Uh, attacking Sultan Rustam the Second, Holy Wharf, the Billock of Elbiston, which I guess is this. Maybe. Maybe. I'm guessing it's just this. Yes, it is. Uh, I love the Assassin's Creed games. I'm put an embarrassing amount of time singing bushes, whistling at people. <laughs> Do you know, the one I enjoyed most was the... Uh, oh, which one was it? The the pirate one? The one with the ship. That was the one I enjoyed the most out of all of them. That I did play. Like I said, I've, I've never finished any of them, but... That's the one I've probably enjoyed uh, the most. Anything with a ship, and I'm a, I'm a sucker for that. Uh, right, let's... I think we're going to attack these guys. Yeah. Actually, well, we'll get a claim on them first. Oh, yeah, we need to wait for this other claim to finish. And then we'll do it. John will just demand conversion and release these guys. There we go. Black flag. That's the one. Yep. Yeah. That's probably the one I enjoyed the most. Uh, can we attack you? I'm trying to see who we have claims against. Uh, I kind of want more claims than that. Okay, you are a Shari, you're a Shari. You guys are Orthodox. So I'm kind of tempted to just Holy War against these. So I kind of feel like they wouldn't attack us. And we can take all this land. Do we do more than these? Oh, can we do one a year? Okay, well, we'll save that against Mesopotamia. Um, so, okay, we'll, 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 we'll just wait. Oh, actually, do, do we get that claim against... Cyprus. Oh, we must have lost it. it must have been our uh, our father that had it. Oh, we'll wait. I I lose track <laughs> on uh, on who we um on who we have claims with. Oh, we need to get rid of this guy, Clotaire. He needs to go. This is terrible. Wow, you're getting you're just getting absolutely wrecked everywhere. Can we can we attack you? Claims it's claims. It's all the same place. Yeah, they've got land. Oh, they have land up here? Jeez, they're absolutely everywhere. Seize du jour duchy. Uh oh, we actually have, already have claims on this. We don't need to do that. It's du jour part of our realm. Uh, where is the Samarids? There it is. That's not what I wanted to do. There we go. Uh, that's most people's favourite unpopular opinion. I enjoyed three the most. Just that comes an hour into the game is one of the greatest moments in video games. The one thing... The funny thing is, is I think, especially early on with Assassin's Creed, I always thought the, the gimmick of it being in the future and in the past, I always thought it was kind of kind of rubbish but in the latest ones they've really got rid of that and i think it actually does <laughs> it does harm the harm the series i think because it just becomes another 
you're just fighting random people whereas i think that kind of like future stuff actually helped in the end um kind of differentiate it from other things uh so we just got this oh An anatolia oh nice we just got the kingdom of An An anatolia oh yeah one of our vassals must have had a little bit more land up here sweet I wonder if they'll vassalize to us now. Hmm, they almost might. Send them some money. Minus 34. Nope, but close. Hmm, no. Uh, we can use Ducal Conquest. That's not too bad. Uh, we can use. Oh, we can use Force Vassalization. Yeah, we'll go down here. Then we can just force vassalize people. We don't need to get claims on them. We can just force vassalize them, uh, which speeds it up uh, no end. Oh, we wanted to get a claim on these guys, didn't we? Uh, let's do this. Get some more dread. Some people hate us. Yeah, I need to get all of this. So uh, we'll let this finish. And then we're going to claim... Actually, do you know what? We'll get claims on all the Samarid land through this. And then once we get... Once we get this, we'll just force vassalize the Udini and Cilicia. We'll just force vassalize them. Um, agree 100%. It really gave the sub uh, the subtext and motivation to the games. We get a little bit more into the future stuff with expansions to Odyssey, I know. Haven't played Valhalla yet, though. Yeah, I think Odyssey... Uh, I think Odyssey was the last one I played. Was it Odyssey? Yeah, that's the one set in Sparta, isn't it? I played that one quite a bit. I did quite a bit of that game. But, I don't know, I just get bored of them after a while. <laughs> I hate games where you have to, like, just do busy work a lot of the time. Which is funny, because I enjoy playing World of Warcraft, and that is just the epitomation of busy work. But, uh, for some reason... If I sit down at a console to do it, I just can't do it. I just don't enjoy it. Um, I'm, I'm playing through Mass Effect at the moment, actually, for the first time ever. So I've been enjoying that. Uh, let's do... Yeah, let's get a claim on here. We might not manage to do it, but we'll see. I love the grind of Odyssey. Nice. I, like I said, I know a lot of people enjoy it, and I think it probably one of those games, if I sat down for a weekend and just played it, um, I'd probably get sucked into it, but the way I play games on my console, I just I just don't do that. Oh, they did lose some of these. Oh yeah, like Azerbaijan is now independent. Can we just attack you? Oh, we can. Sure, let's do this. Two allies. Yeah, we have no troops though. Let's do this whilst we wait. But yeah, never. I've never played uh, Mass Effect, so uh, they're the games I'm playing through at the moment because I just finished Dragon Age, the first one, for like the tenth time. <laughs> I get really good use out of my high power. Uh, Series X console by playing 20 year old games on it. As you do. Let's merge these. They can go here, I guess. So, yeah, we'll, we'll take Azerbaijan because why not? We go get onto the coast of the Caspian Sea and then we should have the. Uh, we might have the next. Um, lifestyle update, and then we can use that to take over the rest of these. Unless we die, of course. Then we can. Uh, Odyssey's world was definitely full and rich, made up for a lot of the fetch quests in it. The whole part way, you're going to lose even the DLC. Lost me, though. <laughs> the other game I played recently was... Um, um, oh, what's it called? Something Phoenix Rising? I can't remember what the main thing is phoenix rising something phoenix rising uh phoenix i should know i've played it but <laughs> immortals of phoenix phoenix rising that's pretty good that's kind of set in uh 
with Greek uh, gods and stuff like that. That's a pretty good game. Uh, is that the XCOM clone? No, I think that's Phoenix Rising. <laughs> I'm not sure. No, it's called Immortals Phoenix Rising. Um, it's made by Ubisoft, but it's not very Ubisofty. Uh, it's really good though. If you like that kind of Greek mythology kind of game, it's definitely worth doing. The narration is amazing in it. Um, they have the they have two gods. I can't remember which ones it is. Uh, there's two they have two greek gods as the narrators and they hate each other and they're always just making stuff up <laughs> they're just like making stuff up that happened and you're playing as the character and then when you get to certain bits the the gods come in and kind of narrate what you're doing and they just like make stuff up that didn't happen zeus and fight yeah zeus and yeah the other guy yeah if you've played it you know what i'm talking about it's really good Prometheus, yes. I think that was, yeah, Prometheus, wasn't it? Yeah. And they're just sniping at each other constantly. <laughs> it's really good. I need to get back and finish that. I just got really, uh, I got triggered by some of the quests in it. They were really annoying. But uh, it's a really fun game. Uh, it sounds great. Yeah, it is. If if you're after, it's kind of more of a, it's, it's like an, a really action, like an arcade action version of Assassin's Creed but it's not I don't know I found it easier to play because it's not as much fetch quests and quests to keep you busy the world is like I think it's only about 30 hours to finish so you always feel like you're progressing and there's cool things to unlock you can get cool armors uh there's like mini mini quest uh like mini games and stuff in there um it's really fun if you can get it for cheap um then definitely pick it up it's really fun if nothing else just for the story the story is amazing um and then the expansion is supposed to be really good i've not played it yet because i've not finished the base game but the expansion moves to like china and all kind of different so it's totally different the gameplay is the same but it's kind of like different kind of uh, skin over it because it's not just more greek uh mythology it's all chinese stuff i think um, so yeah, it's, it's a really good game. It's called Immortals Phoenix Rising. It's kind of Phoenix is spelled with an F, and uh, yeah, it's really fun. If you like those kind of games, uh, keep keep an eye out for it. I need to get back and finish it, but I've got so many games on my console that I need to play, and then I have Game Pass, so there's just always more games to play. <laughs> so it's just never ending. Uh, we're making 115 gold a month here, so. Um, have we nearly got this? Almost do. And that claim's going to take a while. Uh, don't know who else to... To attack. I think we might just wait to get that... Oh, they've, got, they've only got 800 troops. So now I'm tempted... Ducal Conquest? No, I don't want to do that. Uh, we could just Holy War for Mesopotamia. Ashari. See, I don't think other, that many other Asharis will come and help us. Uh, come and help them. So I think we might. Yeah, I think I might just Holy War against them. I think we've got more than enough. I think the war will be finished before they even get here. Yeah, let's just do it. Uh, where do we put a? Sp one thing there we go I think 40,000 troops is is plenty uh, we will also pick up our holy order as well though uh, did I want to do that yes <laughs> and then we'll get that holy order to come help as they're free so why not? Yeah, and then this army can come down and... Joy, you can go siege this one down. You guys can come down and siege this. After you fought them in battle. 
And then we'll see. Actually, we can see who joined. Oh, nobody joined. They've only got eight soldiers. <laughs> okay, so yeah, we holy warred against them. No one joined, and they have eight, eight soldiers, and all, and they're just knights. <laughs> Their entire army is eight knights. So I think we might win this. Well, it's seventy-five percent already. Oh, nice. Got a claim on the whole thing. I thought he was terrible. Yeah, I don't know how he got it. I thought you had to be over 10 to get a um, a ducal claim, but we did it. So uh, why not? All right, ninety-four percent. I think once we siege this, we're gonna um, we're gonna have won this. There's eight knights that go into Battle of Thermopylae. <laughs> that would be amazing. After I after I badmouthed them. <laughs> this is Mesopotamia. <laughs> anyway, they lost. <laughs> On the other hand, they just lost, and they're gone. Uh, can we steal their title, or do you get it automatically? I can't remember. No, there we go. I really want to be able to create the empire because then we can start getting rid of some of these kingdoms because we have um, a lot of them at the moment. Yes, we do have too many duchies. I'm going to fix that in a minute. This guy. You can have this one. So we'll give him this duchy. And then we'll give P Pandolfo the other one. There we go. And then when we uh, when we can give away the kingdom, we'll just give it to one of these two guys. Well, the spawns lost two. True, they were keeping it historically accurate role playing um, <laughs> to make sure they lost as well. Um, oh, I think we have cl do we have claims on everything we need? Oh, we can just force fastalize it now. Yep, let's just do that. We're on a roll. We're on a roll now. Now we got force fastalize people. Oh no, I did that wrong. Yeah, now we can just force fastalize everyone. Uh, this should be pretty easy. These guys are gonna have a bad time. Joe, I'm actually gonna. Yeah, get, come down here. <laughs> Actually, we don't need you. Oh, wait. We never actually raised our siege equipment. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll commission an epic. Why not? Uh, what I need is a classical tale of the grandeur of my family, a chronicle about the beginnings of the Anjou dynasty and how we are destined for greatness. I, I only need someone who knows how to tell a story. See, that this chunky lad, he's a monk. He's got 20 learning. I'm kind of tempted to choose him. Is that Julian? Yeah, Julian is an accomplished storyteller. He's an accomplished eater. Uh, my family epic seems to be progressing well, as some of the lines already sound like they will be quoted for decades to come. But Julian has a lot of questions about the focus of the story. It would be easier to answer if he wrote it all first. Then I could tell him which bits I don't like. But he insists he needs answers now. Uh, we're going to focus on Renown. There we go. Uh, you can come up and attack these guys. And then we'll just leave these sieging. And then, yeah, we'll have this. We'll vassalize Udini next. Udini uh, next. And then we'll attack uh, the remnants of the Mongols to, uh, to get the last of the lands that we need. Oh, we just got the... Um 
uh, the uh, the building upgrades. Uh, Julian has taken a number of liberties in my family epic in regards to warfare and battles. It makes for dramatic scenes, but I worry my marshal has been offended as he furrows his brow in a particular scene. At a particular scene. I'm almost relieved when he finally shares his thoughts. It's all nonsense, but this part about the loyal horse has given me some ideas. <laughs> uh, we get storied innovations. Plus 10 night advantage. Nice. Or martial experience. I'm going to take this. You should show Julian what happens to people who ask too many questions. <laughs> they go to the same place the horses do. To the to the farm. To the special farm. Wait. You're not fascinated by the... By the Gilman innovation? What's that? That's not in this list. Oh. Have we unlocked some random ones because of lands we've gathered? Oh, we do. So we've unlocked these because I guess we've taken over land where they're based. The Gilman. Man at arms maintenance, minus 15%. Slave soldiers taken as prisoners of war. Gilman are dedicated fighters who are both most are both more loyal to us and cheaper to pay than common mercenaries. I wonder where this is based. Is there no way for me to tell? I don't think so. Utrimmer. Um, oh, there's no way to see. This must be based in Arabia somewhere. Because we've only just got those lands. It's a shame you can't see where it is based. <laughs> and then we've also, in High Medieval, we've got Maladi. Which must be based this area, just by the name. Um, different uh, different culture opinion, plus 10. Development growth, 10%. So yeah, both of these are pretty good. But yeah, it'd be cool to know where this is from. I'm guessing it must be here somewhere, obviously. Um, unless it's in Egypt, maybe? Gilman. Yeah, it's a shame it doesn't show, but nice. I'm going to get some cool extra things. Because I, I do want to do one of those playthroughs where you start as uh, Vikings, you move to India, you learn elephant um, elephant stuff so you can have elephants in your army, and then you become <laughs> Viking elephants. And you can just be going around crazy. Uh, Arabic world including As uh, Samasid. Ah uh, yeah, that's where I imagine it must be from. Yeah, I'm probably pronouncing it terribly. Don't worry, I, I know that already. <laughs> oh, we won this war, so you've been subjugated. Thank you very much. We will have to watch out, because some of these guys, I guess, might... Oh, well, well, I suppose the leaders... Will you convert? Let's find out. No. He will not. Anyway, there we go, we've... Gained even more land. We're going to go after you next. Force vassalize. Thank you very much. Yeah, we can just we can just rush through these now. Well, not rush through them, but we're gonna we're gonna do these easily. And there we go. A family epic. The epic chronicle of my family is finally complete, and Julian has reasons to be proud. My ancestors stand at its core as a shining example of what it means to be a ruler of our time, for our time. Even if it drags in a few places, and the part about the loyal horse is utterly ridiculous, still I am proud to keep this in my family library for generations to enjoy and learn from. I wonder if the loyal horse is like a, a, uh, a nod to Glitterhoof. We, we need Glitterhoof back. He's sorely missed in the uh, in the Crusader Kings universe. Uh, do we want him to leave? I don't think so. I kind of want him to stay. Yeah, I'll pay him 300 gold. Why not? Oh yeah, I was going to upgrade these buildings because we... Just unlocked the uh, the improvements. How much money have we got? We'll build like one more thing and then we'll wait. Historically, it surprised me the army uh, that slave armies were effective at all. Like if you make them elite with a Gilman, then wouldn't you be scared of a slave revolt? I know, right? 
I think I read that about... So I was watching a documentary about Carthage. And I think they were saying, like, nearly all the Carthaginian army, especially at the beginning, was just mercenaries. They didn't actually have that many, like... Uh, you know, like they had, like, a small core of Carthaginian um, troops. But most of their army was actually from uh, vassals or... Um, mercenaries and yeah I, i'd just be like well they're just gonna rebel against us <laughs> as soon as they realize and when they turn up on the field and be like wait there's like twenty thousand of us and those like two thousand are, are, are the uh you know like the generals of the entire uh, entire realm we could just kill them and then we'd be charged but uh it didn't happen so i guess they didn't think of that but yeah i've always thought that it's crazy some slave armies like that Uh, no, we don't want to trim the dynasty. We all have shortcomings, we'll just say that. Uh, slave armies weren't like slaves in the modern sense. They were paid very, very handsomely. Oh, so they were more like, um, like mercenaries, but not mercenaries. Kind of like, uh, was it Codettieri in the, uh, in the Napoleonic era? Those don't like sound like slaves. True. Well, we've got some people we can ransom, but I'm not too bothered about doing that just yet. Uh, right, disband all of those. I mean, we're doing we're doing pretty well. I'm sure Malf can search it up. <laughs> I could do. I'll search it up for next stream. Yeah, I thought we'd start getting some rebellions now because we've brought in quite a lot of yeah Shari um, people into our realm, so. Well, we're probably going to have to watch out. I'm, I might let this happen first, and then we'll go to war with somebody else. Uh, actually, yeah, whilst... Yeah, we've got a lot of Ashari people now. Eight years? Dude, you're so bad. Eight years. Oh, we can make another kingdom. Oh, this one. I didn't even realise that <laughs> that had gone. Yeah, I suppose it would do, yeah. Oh, it's it's gone. <laughs> They've changed their minds. They're not gonna rebel against us. Oh, they're just just not powerful enough to do it. Okay, well for now we can we can do some other wars then. F right, so all we have left to do now is fight the uh, the Bor Borgesian, I think. Oh no, uh, do we need to attack you? The Sala, the Sala Garids? Yes. Okay, we need to fight these guys and these chaps. So I guess we'll fight you first, especially as you're currently losing two wars. Why is this got... He holds too many counties to be forcefully vassalized. Oh, okay. I guess we won't do that then. <laughs> oh, we can't press both of the... Oh, because we don't have claims. So yeah, if we, if, we get, if we get claims against both of them, we can push both claims. Okay, so we'll get claims against these guys. They're currently fighting... Oh, they've currently got an internal war happening. Oh, this is back. Okay, yeah, I think I'll let this Assyrian um, Ashari rebellion happen before we do any wars, because they're, they're going to have a lot of troops. So, yeah, we'll let that happen first, and then we'll attack these guys. Because we should... Uh, not that one, not that one, this one. So we can go to war for this. And then next time we can go to war for the land down here that we want. Although we don't have a claim on it. Which is a little annoying. Anyone else have a claim on it? No. no. 
is the solid grid mongol spinners too i th think they were yes yeah because they're yeah they're orthodox they must have been yeah this was all mongols down here yeah because there's chagatai <laughs> which are up here so yeah this was all mongols as well yeah they reached all the way to here basically and they took all of this they did very well and they stuck around for like 150 years so they do very well indeed um kind of tempted to attack him then and force vassalize him whilst we wait for those claims to happen he's gonna come back under our control after escaping last time leading that rebellion against us right let's split you off to attack them and you can just siege this down and then this war should be pretty quick and we'll be ready for that rebellion when it starts uh does this game still end in 1453 i believe so yes i don't think it's extended although it's not a um it might continue actually because it's not like an iron man mode uh we're just playing the base game so i think it'll actually just continue i don't know i've never to be honest, I've never got to the finish date in a non-Iron Man achievement run of some kind, so I'm not sure what happens. I know when I do my time lapses, it lets you continue, but I don't know if that's just because we're observing and not actually doing anything. Oh, there we go. Oh, they rebelled quicker than I thought. Uh, you shall have death. Well, to be honest, we should be able to raise, yeah, this holy order. So we can use them to just go around the map, attacking these guys, to be honest. And then we'll use this second army here to do that. And we'll just have this army to finish the war off. Uh, there was a setting in the game rules, so I don't think so. Yes, there is one way you can... Oh, yeah, true. In the game rules, I probably left it. Although, if you're observing a game, uh, you don't need to change that setting, and it will continue. It won't stop. But I think that's because you're not technically playing uh, the game. You're just watching a game. So um, I imagine it will finish at that time. Uh, Prince Bishop Humbert, the Enlightened just been made a saint oh this all was finished <laughs> you have been vassalized again my friend where did the other army go here it is uh, foreign affairs effectiveness, shorter truces, and no prestige for breaking them. Uh, fellow vassal plus 15 can propose one alliance without marriage. Do you know what? I'm kind of tempted to go down this tree instead. Yeah, I'm going to switch it now. We don't need the rest of these. I don't think it's going to help us that much. Whereas those other ones, they're going to make our family better in the in the long term. So I think we'll switch to those. And we'll attack this guy, and then we'll disband this army. Might as well save some money. And our two armies here are going to deal with, with everyone else pretty easily, to be honest. Uh, you know how when the Mongols go bye-bye and all the counties are independent? So I was wondering if that's how it was IRL. Um, I think it kind of was, not to the extent that happens in Crusader Kings, but pretty much. I think the, the Golden Horde stuck around for a while. But I think other than that, most of them kind of just started infighting. And so it did break down. I don't think it, you know, I don't think it broke down. Well, I guess they never got this far, so... Um, and then wipe out the Byzantines, but um, I think they basically all the like independent warlords just went independent, basically. So I guess it kind of did happen that way. I think it just looks worse in Crusader Kings because they all get new colors, so it always looks so weird. 
Uh, whereas if the, all these became independent but stayed like a shade of blue or a shade of yellow, uh, it wouldn't look so kind of weird when it happens. Is that a HRE? Yes. <laughs> the Holy Scottish Empire up there. Oh, but Scotland owns some of this. So Scotland lost land here, but have land here. Classic. And oh, Sweden's doing pretty good, actually, for itself. Uh, King Rag Rag Ragnvald? Ragnvald? He's doing alright for himself over there. Not doing too bad. Why couldn't they defeat the Byzantines? Because the Byzantines are just too good. That's why. You can't beat Rome. Uh, you create the Kingdom of Cilicia? What's that? Oh, here? Yep. I'll have that as well. Thank you very much. Uh, that should keep the other guy happy, because we are his du jour liege now. So he can't be whining quite as much. I'm sure he would. Yeah, exactly, because they're the Byzantines. <laughs> you can't... You can't... Uh, you can't defeat them. The Turks did it, and they both use horses. I mean... <laughs> With that sound logic, it's a good point. It's a good point. Only Rome can be Rome. I think the Mongols came, tried to defeat them, and the uh, the Emperor of the Byzantines just said, I don't even know who you are. He just ignored them. We keep investing in all of this. Uh, Colorado mapping. Oh, welcome. We've not seen you for a while. Uh, this is a huge Jerusalem. It is. And we're going to get renamed. I don't know what color we changed to, actually, when we found the uh, the Utrima Empire. I don't know if we stay gray. I think we might do, because gray is kind of the Crusader State color. So maybe we do stay this color. Uh, anyway, we're going to get this claim soon. I don't want to gain Drunkard. So we d oh, we didn't as well. Nice. Yes, that's obviously what happened. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Wait, are they the only two counties we needed? I can't remember. Yes, it is. So now we can go to war with these and take the two counties that we need. I'm pretty sure... You just change to a lighter white. Ah, that's not too bad then. Chad Rome versus Mongol or Virgin Mongols. <laughs> I think that's exactly how it happened. I think if you if you ever, you know, go to go to college or university and your teacher, professor ever asks why did the Mongols not spread further west? They Chad Chad Eastern Rome just just beat them. They couldn't uh, they couldn't fight them off. And they'll be, you know, they'll be like, good point. Definitely true. I think 46,000 is enough troops. If I'm being honest. In fact, I'm going to split these <laughs> in half. Uh, you can head down here. You want to split off one of these stacks of bombards and you also want to go down there there we go uh who would you think would win if rome and mongols had a war Do you know it's a tough one I, I i would say rome just because of the the kind of higher tech that they had um but i don't know actually i don't know who would actually win one um i just think like the weapons and the tech the uh uh, the Romans had would win, but I'm not actually sure. It could go either way, to be honest, I would think. Uh, da, 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 da. What else can we do? We'll do this. Ransom you. That'll do. And then, yeah, we'll get these two, and then all we've got to do is go to war against these twice. 
Uh, we'll have to go to war for this land, and then the land that we need over here. So uh, we're going to have to split that up into two separate wars. Oh, in fact, we should start getting those claims that we need. Oh, oh, these guys have split out. Okay. Well, there we go. <laughs> They've uh, they escaped whilst we were sieging them down. Uh, I think the Mongols would win because Rome was a pretty thin empire territory-wise, and I think they could manage to take. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. That's a good point. Yeah, they could probably. Yeah, they could probably like attack from through Georgia, through here this part of the black sea they could probably go either side of the black sea and then come through carpathia and attack here as well yeah they could probably split the forces so far that yeah they could probably uh just overwhelm them yeah that's a good idea actually it's an interesting uh thought exercise as they say thinking who would win it oh this is our heir oh i guess her husband died he did Count Timotheus of Kukuk. He could could died. I don't know. <laughs> oh, she's 27. She's got a lot of children uh, already. Yo, let's marry into let's marry into Bohemia. We could maybe try to steal their realm. So we'll give it a go. Oh, we're getting called into war. Oh, by Bohemia. Well, we'll say yes, but we're not going to go and actually help. Oh, they're really losing that war as well. Uh, in the first triumphant, the guy that wasn't Pompey or Caesar tried to win a war against the Persians and take control of the Caucasus. Uh, who was the third guy? Uh, did it also begin with P? Uh, pa, 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 pa. I'm not sure. <laughs> Maybe it did. I was watching. A, uh, I know we always talk about this channel, but the the Kings of General channel has a really good uh, series about uh, about that era and about the rise of Caesar. It's really good if you're interested in that kind of uh, historical era. Uh, the Mongols could all alternatively avoid the Carpathians and sweep through North Africa, invading Italy from the south. I mean, that's one way to go. 81%. We'll siege down their capital and then we should have this war finished. Who was the third one? It's going to annoy me now. The Romans are infantry and Persians use cavalry. Yeah, but they could probably go around them so fast. Uh, da, 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 da. Caesar Triumphant. Who's the third one? First triumphant. Crassus. There it is, Crassus. Is Egypt Muslim or Christian in this? It is Christian. Uh, we won it in a crusade and we put someone from our house on the throne. So I think he was our brother at the time. Um, <laughs> I think that's an L in it. Don't, don't ask me, I'm terrible at spelling. Um, yeah, so we put someone from our house on the throne. They've made a sub house, but their still house on Jew Cairo. Um, so yeah, they won it and then they've been expanding ever since. Oh, we even have some land over here, I guess. One of our vassals um, <laughs> gains some land over here. Uh, we do have land elsewhere. We have land here in the HRE for some reason. Oh, yeah, I'm, I'm like, I like grandmother owned it. Uh, we've just been inheriting it slowly. And uh, yeah. I guess they most definitely not ever assassinate the leader of Egypt ever. Uh, we're just going to vassalize them at some point. <laughs> we're just going to go to war for their kingdom. I think. I'm going to try and make a uh, an eastern Mediterranean empire at some point. Just slowly get there. Fortunately for Rome, the Mongols were experts at laying siege. Yeah, but it's like the unstoppable object versus the immovable... Uh, no, the unstoppable force versus the immovable object. It's kind of like that, I think. Uh, no, I want the entire duchy. 
Blobshoe Jerusalem. We are in Blobshoe territory now. There we go. We took the land we needed off these guys. We're gonna have to retreat over here though, so we can get rid of our uh, get rid of our armies. Um, and then yeah, you're next. You are actually losing a war, defending against Duke Gabor of Transylvania. Is that part of our arm? No, Transylvania's up here, isn't it? Oh, it's just for one county. It is. It's just for one county. Uh, that's a good war, I guess. And then defending against Khan Damasid Yongzlogu of the Mohammedid Khanate in the war against the Tyranny. Oh, no, that's an internal war. So we're going to disband the army, and then we're going to go to war with these, I think. Uh, truth is, for Rome versus Mongols, either or both would just spontaneously combust this war. Yeah, that is true, yeah. <laughs> that is true. If the Mongols somehow manage to take over Rome, they just fall apart. I think you might be right there. Oh, we've got too much land. Oh, yeah, we need to give these away. Cheers, this. These are part of Basra. So I think we have a Duke of Basra. So let's give him this. And this is part of the uh, the Wazit Duchy, which we don't currently have. Oh, we can make it, though. There we go. Nice. So we'll give that to... Oh, he already owns a lot of land. I don't really want to give it... Oh, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to give him it anyway. There we go. So we'll probably give him the kingdom when we can. Uh, I don't know. The sacking of Baghdad was pretty decisive. We took down one of the heavy for those cities in the world. Yeah, that is true as well. I, I mean, who knows? I think it could go either way. Like, if it actually came to, like, a massive battle. Um, it'd be kind of fun, though, to uh, to imagine. Right, we're going to attack you. Uh, defending against the Dutch Marie of Ch Chazianon. Is that one of our vassals? I thought it was. No, the, the the realm here. For the Dutch. Oh, they're just taking this county off them. Right, let's attack them. Is your. No, no, this one. Unless somebody else has like a crazy good claim. We can push. Oh. So yeah, let's do this for this duchy, and then all we've got left to do is take the land here, and then we can form the uh, form the empire. Then, uh, yeah, because Serbia is more heavily fortified, better geography. So tell that to the Fourth Crusade. <laughs> How did that go for them? Oh, actually, where's their capital? Is it here? Oh no, that's no, that's the Persian Empire. Uh, where's your capital? Is it here? Oh, it is here. Oh, it's right next to us. It's in a kind of weird location. But um, okay, well we'll raise our armies down here, I think, and then we'll send one of them further north. Uh, we'll get this holy order though. Oh, hostile faith. Oh no, yeah, because they're orthodox. Keep forgetting they're orthodox, so we can't use uh, holy orders against them. So yeah, what we'll do is we'll raise our entire army here. We'll split it in half. Half will come and siege this. Half will head down here. And then we'll bring the other army down when we can. You could do some real devastating stuff in Constantinople if you blockaded the Bosphorus. Yes. I think that's what they did, wasn't it? The Fifth Crusade? Fourth Crusade. I think that's how they got how they won. Well, not how they won, but um, wasn't there like a big chain across the Bosphorus, and they got in and like cut the chain and stole it. Well, they didn't let them in. Well, they did in the end, but um, yeah, they didn't like <laughs> they didn't turn up and they were like, guess we'll just give our city up. <laughs> They did fight back, and then it just went on for so long that in the end, the populace uh, generally just went along with it after a while. Again, 
Kings and Generals channel has a really good video series about the uh, about the Fourth Crusade and how and what happened and the uh, the fallout of it. I think it was that channel. Actually, no, I think it was a different channel because they also had a like where where did um, where did all the riches from from uh, Constantinople go? Because a lot of them got stolen. And it was a really cool cool video actually about where uh yeah where they all are like a lot of the stuff from the a lot of the statues and a lot of the um just all the cool artwork and stuff um obviously got stolen away by people and uh yeah it's really really interesting as to where it uh ended up there's a theory that some the horses in uh there were supposedly like some golden horses pulling a that was like pulling a carriage uh, that had had Alexander in it or something, and uh, the rumor that the theory one of the theories is that Venice took it because obviously they paid for the crusade to be kind of moved <laughs> to go attack Constantinople. So the rumor is they took it and it was in Venice until Napoleon got there and then he took it. And they're the horses that are on top of the Arc de Triomphe or something in France. And one of the theories is is that that they are from Constantinople. They were stolen from there. Uh, when you sack a rival in the name of Catholicism, you end up being partially responsible for creation of the most powerful mercy. <laughs> exactly. That is unintended consequences if you've ever <laughs> ever ever heard of them. Yeah, they probably wouldn't have done it if they knew that. Actually, they probably would have done it. It was all about money. They just wanted to weaken the... Uh, weaken the Byzantines. And obviously steal all their money. So yeah, we're going to siege this down with this army. And then this one here is just going to head south, basically, towards their capital. Just sieging places as we go. Oh, our wife just died. Well, let's find us a new one. Um, Alliance power. Sicily. Uh, well, she's not old enough, to be honest. With how old we are, we don't want to be marrying anyone. Actually, let's do it by relevance then. 27. Duchy of Coimbra. No, we don't want scaly children, <laughs> to be honest. Or stupid children. That is also bad. Robust. Uh, I kind of want a larger place than a cow. Is there no like. Do you know Let's just do Alliance Power. Kingdom of Kiev, Rus. Sicily. Abyssinia. Island. Marrying to Island. I don't think we want to do that either. Yeah, these are all duchies now. Do you know but yeah, we'll just marry somebody up here. We'll just marry her because she's got a decent buff. Uh, the Crusade humorous to me. They keep getting more and more incompetent with each try. First Crusade was really the only successful one in achieving their aims. Um, yeah, I think that's because I think a lot of it, obviously, we'll, we'll never know because of how Chronicles work. But I kind of feel like after the first one, a lot of the people who did the Crusades um, kind of realized how much of, how much of kind of a sham they were. And that's why less and less effort was put in. And obviously, I guess, a lot of it is it was so far away. I think the first one was like, yeah, we're going to go do it. We're going to take the, the Holy Land. And then obviously, after some of the bad second, third ones, and, and, you know, when they started to deteriorate, I think that probably kind of snowballed. And kingdoms and, and dukes and things were like, mm, let's not risk it. <laughs> let's just keep our troops at home. Because if we go, someone might attack us or something like that. So that's probably how it went. Look at Egypt. Classic. Classic Egyptian Poland. And Serbia. Serbia? That's not where you guys live. <laughs> Polish Serbians. Classic. And yeah, Catholic Otrima Egypt up here as well. Oh, Kiev Rus. Getting pretty big actually, to be honest. He looks like a pretty cool guy. And Portugal up here, the Portugal Low Countries. 
Uber Epic Zach, welcome back to the stream. Holy Roman Holy Roman Spain brings Charles V Habsburg <laughs> flashbacks. Oh wow, yeah. Do you know what? I didn't even realise that. I was too busy looking everywhere else. I guess they inherited uh Castile? Oh Bohemia took over Castile. Oh yeah, he has the Kingdom of Castile and the Kingdom of Bohemia. Wasn't one of our children married to him? Or was it him? No, it must be somebody else. Yeah, the HRE is <laughs> that is that is the Habsburg's dream going on there. That is crazy. They are losing though. Yeah, they're probably gonna lose some of this land. But yeah, that's that's crazy. HRE going nuts. Um anyway, yeah, let's carry on with this war. If we went some minor attackers. Exactly, that's what I always thought. Um, is you know, if you you know, if you're like the King of England, this is from watching Robin Hood Prince of Thieves. Uh, if you're the King of England, you went on Crusade, wouldn't you just be thinking like, well, whilst I'm gone with all our troops, won't like Scotland just attack us and just take our realm? It's kind of amazing in a way it didn't happen more, but I guess because they were all the same religion, obviously vitally frowned upon um, <laughs> doing that. Right, I think that's all the land, yeah, that we did the war for. So I think we'll bring these troops down to so our armies are together. Um, Elkanay and the Golden Horde. Must see how the Mongols I've ever seen so far. It's doing pretty well. Oh, the Golden Horde. Oh, they're nearly gone down. Although they are over here and here and kind of thrown in everywhere. Oh, yeah, these guys have changed their name now. Well, they just lost another war as well. Oh, they ch they converted. They're now apostolic. <laughs> they converted from uh, orthodox to apostolic for some reason. Which is crazy. Okay. This, this religion map is pretty insane, to be honest. Largest orthodox <laughs> country ever. And then Catholicism just... Going strong. They must be a max fervor. Oh no, they're not, they're only a half fervor. Kind of surprised we're not seeing more uh, uh not rebels. Uh heresies. Do you want just get that claim then? We'll just do this manually. Oh, you've seated that down? Oh, we're actually running out of money. Uh, <laughs> we better do this. There we go. That goes a little bit of money back. This war should finish before we run out of money. Maybe I might have to disband this army, to be honest. Um, just started playing Total War Warhammer 2, but I got destroyed by a huge barbarian-like army that killed Jim the Phoenix. <laughs> do you know what? I would play Total War more, but it absolutely destroys my PC playing it. And all the fixes I've seen online just don't work for me, so... I did enjoy playing, um... Who's the army at the top? Like, Chaos? Not Chaos. Like, the, the Viking army that's Chaos. I can't remember what they're called. They're really fun to play, because if you defeat another leader, you just absorb their lands. So you can, like, grow your realm really quick. Oh, we had a son with her. Oh yeah, all our children were daughters, weren't they? Yeah, our first two children were daughters. So yeah, he's actually going to become our our um, our heir. Uh, Abraham, no. Ebon, Pierre. That's a bit on the nose. Thomas, Gerard, Humbert. Let's call him Humbert. That's really French as well. I want to try Total War series, but my PC is bad. Yeah, my PC is not too bad. Um, but it just destroys my GPU. It runs at 100% no matter what I'm doing. And it just starts making horrendous noises. But even if I'm doing nothing, if I'm just looking at the map, it's at 100% GPU. That doesn't seem right to me. Um, I don't know what causes it, but I, I, I googled it and a lot of other people have the same issue, so it is what it is, I guess. 
I'll go back to when I have another PC. It might be because I have... It might work better on AMD or something. What graphics card do you have? 1080? <laughs> I'm not too sure. Um, maybe it's a 1080, 1070. I'm going to look because I'm... <laughs> I should know. I should know, but I don't. Uh, I think it's a 1080. Let me have a look. Is it here? Oh, Windows 10, I never know how you find things anymore. Got 1060, it runs pretty well. That's the thing, if I'm in a battle, it runs quite well. But it's just at 100% all the time. Um, and... I can't stream it because of that reason. I sometimes do try play it on my own. I would really like to stream Total War Warhammer, but it just... I can't do it. I, um, <laughs> my streaming program just screams at me if I try streaming it, um, telling me to stop doing it, so... Which is unfortunate. Uh, Windows Key X. Oh, there it is. Device... Device Manager. The assassins still live? I'll have a look in a second. Oh, a 1070 I have. Uh, Slight North, the assassins still live. Oh, is it, is it these guys? The Order of the Hash... 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 hash <laughs> these chaps? They do still live. What a... They just live on the... Uh, oh, George has moved over here. Yeah, look at these guys. Oh yeah, they have land here as well. Right next to us. <laughs> They're not doing too bad. They got six thousand seven thousand troops. They'll probably last uh pretty well there. Uh, yeah, order member. What a guy, he owns it all. Nice. I'll have to keep an eye on those. Alright, where's our army? Here it is. So yeah, we'll finish this war and then we'll just keep trying to get these claims individually and then we can attack them afterwards to uh, to form it. Uh, I don't know which claim... Okay, so we need these three. Okay, so we just need this one and then next time we go to war with them we can just take all the land that we need to form the Empire. Nothing is forbidden, especially assassination. <laughs> I wonder if they'll bring them back at some point in Crusader Kings. I imagine they will further down the line. You know, like the old um, the secret societies and stuff like that. I know they're trying to stay away from um, you know, like uh, uh, what's the word I'm thinking? Supernatural. They're trying to stay away from like supernatural things, I think, especially this early. But I kind of hope they return. The uh, the holy orders in some way they were so overpowered in the last game, but I would it'd be kind of cool if they did come back in some form. Right, we'll uh, we'll get this claim on these, and then as soon as we, um, as soon as our uh, true sends, we'll we'll attack these. In fact, we'll even switch. to um, this, to speed that up. Oh, we've got another one of these. Uh, thicken them water. Do you want these are bad? I'm just going to go down here for the rest. Uh, man, I want to play a horse avatar in full 3D, but Paradox says no. <laughs> Hey, with the with the royal uh, with the royal court, you probably can. Surely there'll be a mod that allow. I don't know if you saw the uh, the dev diary today. It showed all the like three D uh, events that happen and how they kind of look in the royal court. Um, somebody must be gonna mod in 
I want someone to mod in like Gullida Hoof and you can have him stood there <laughs> with all sparkly and, and looking cool. Uh, what is left for your decision to form the Outrimmer? Uh, just these three. We just need to get these three counties and we're just getting the claim on here now. So as soon as we have this claim and our truce ends, uh, we'll attack these guys and take uh, these la this last duchy here and then we'll be able to form the Empire. So we get in there. It's it's very close. Uh, yeah, we'll just wait for a minute. Uh, has anyone watched Wisecrack? What went wrong with the Assassin's Creed the movie? Explains how the Assassin modern philosophy is based off a Slim Media novel, Bad Guys philosophy. Uh, I have not watched that. It sounds interesting though. Um, so yeah, we just need to basically wait for this truce to end. And then we can, f we should be able to form the, uh, uh, form the empire and get all that good stuff. Right. How is this doing? And we're still working on this 10 more years, 102 years. Sure. I'm just going to do these <laughs> just to speed them up. Um, today I learned there's an Assassin's Creed movie. You never heard about that. It's not very good from what I've heard. Technically a mod for horses does exist, it just has jousting, CK3, characters riding horses. Yes! I am going to play that one day. Yeah, there's the, the the jousting one, and then there's the um the fishing one. I think about the same guy, isn't there? Where you just do fishing. You just, like, just stood on a pier. You didn't know there was a movie either? It's got quite a famous... Is it Jake? No, I'm thinking of Prince of Persia as Jake Gyllenhaal. I can't remember who the main guy is. Who plays the main uh, person in it? Let's see. I'm intrigued now. Probably should have said movie. <laughs> there we go. Someone will probably shout it out. Oh, Michael Fassbender, that's who it was. Jeremy Irons. Um... Yeah, he has jousting, fishing, drinking contests. Yeah, that was the other one I saw, drinking contests. Yeah, I'm going to play a campaign at some point, and I'm going to have all those in. I, I usually like going for achievements, but at some point we will do a campaign where we have all those mods, and we can just have a, a silly time. Uh, yeah, he's the same guy who does them all. He does a lot of cool mods. Um, so yeah, we'll do that. Uh, I think we'll just wait for this war. Kind of tempted to just do that. Although that's four years. I mean, we could take some more land over here. Can we, like, subjugate France? <laughs> Lombardy. Did we vassalize you? No, he has too much land. Oh, is this one of our vassals? That'd be cool if one of our vassals take take this land for us, so we don't have to. Uh, independence war. Uh, no, no, it's not. Although they have got orthodox, uh, an orthodox war happening. Oh, and another one now, a Shari uprising as well. Oh, this is going to rebel against him. Okay, well, if they win, that's going to make it even easier for us. You actually have a question about history? Okay, you can ask. I I probably don't know the answer, but you can ask. Somebody somebody else in the chat might know. I mean, we could attack these guys, I suppose. Attacking Duke Calvin of Tripoli in the third Ascalonite du Jour War, the Duchy of Ascalon. Where's that? Oh, I, I did think that was inside our realm. Wait. Who's attacking? Oh, Ascalon is. Oh, he's losing in the war. Oh, he's winning in the war. Du jour war for the Duchy of Ascalon. Oh, it must be an internal war. Yeah, it is. It's just helping in an internal war. Uh, I kind of feel like... He holds too many counties to be forcefully vassalized. Well... Oh, he's got 20,000 troops? Jeez. Oh, yeah, it does. 
We might go to war with him soon. You gotta form the holy Ultrima Roman Empire next. <laughs> just keep coming into here. And then get enough that we can actually just form the Roman Empire again. That would be pretty good. That would be pretty good if we did that. Oh yeah, I meant to get a core physician. I keep forgetting to do that. Um, yeah, because our wife died. Who was it before? I guess this guy? No. You? There we go. That'll do. Can we attack you for anything? Duke Orb's claim. Okay, he has claims over here. Oh, nice. He has a claim on this. Uh, do you know what? We're going to do this because I, I kept meaning to go for Cyprus and we, did, we kept getting distracted by other stuff, so... Let's actually take Cyprus. It's going to cost us 300 gold to move our army across. Uh, which is nice. Oh, it's 10% of how big your army is. Okay, that makes sense. So yeah, we're going to finally take Cyprus. We've been meaning to do it for a long time. We'll take this, and by the time this is finished, we can probably attack uh, these chaps and uh, form the empire, I would think. Uh, so when the Turks were first getting into Anatolia in the... 1071, they only could get into the Anatolian Peninsula because the Byzantines had seized some land on the border after attacking the Seljuks. No, 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 the Holy Roman Utrima Al and Britannia Scandinavian Ming Dynasty. Ah, just rolls off the tongue. <laughs> rolls off the tongue perfectly. Oh, there we go, we got that, um, we got this rightful ownership. Well, we're going cranes, why not? So we'll siege this down and then we'll cross over and attack this army over here. And then we can head into Hellas to just siege down their capital at some point. Uh, sailing 100k army bankrupt almost ended one of my own man <laughs> Sailing, oh sailing, yeah that would have been what, like 10,000 gold? No. Thousand gold? Why would you do that in the first place? Why would you do? Why would you do that in the first place? I'm not sure. <laughs> I've lost. Oh. Oh, have the hundred k army. Yeah, hundred k army is pretty obscene. Right, we'll remove this. Uh, we'll siege this because it's right next to us. And then we'll just go over and uh, grab their capital, to be honest. This war will probably finish. Uh, which then caused the Turks to be able to colonize the inner parts of the peninsula. Ah, see, they took you apart. Oh, you're going to sail back over here? Ah, you are. It's annoying. We've got so much money, I don't mind these uh, these costs, to be honest. Oh, he's leading the army, so hopefully we capture him. This war will be finished. Did not. <laughs> Didn't work. I'll go over. We'll attack him one more time and then we'll go over to their capital. Aren't forts just like a bunch of big houses? <laughs> and they kind of are, if you think about it. If you think about it, they are just big houses. Uh, 
I mean, especially I think a lot of like uh, English forts or castles were basically that. Um, okay, we did, oh, this should tick over. Yeah, there we go. Nice, we finally took Cyprus. Oh, we've unlocked one of these. Okay, so we finished the whole blood tree. Um, whoever shouts out another tree, uh, that's the one we're going to choose next, because I don't really have a preference. So I'm going to have a drink, and whoever shouts out one first, that's the one we're choosing. Uh, you need to. You needed to kill the Pope and dismantle the papacy in your Mother of Us All campaign to stop him from calling a crusade against me every time I cool down. Yeah, that is pretty harsh. If the Catholics are strong, that that uh, that achievement's really difficult. Glory, okay, that's the one we're going for. Uh, the soldiers with big horses wanted to sneak past the big houses. Couldn't they have just migrated a lot earlier? <laughs> uh, couldn't they just get a really big horse? <laughs> okay, we're going down Glory. That's the one. Uh, KJ shouted out first. So there we go. We're going to be blood and glory. See so yeah, we can get better marriages. Uh, we've got called into this war, which is kind of annoying. Oh, the HRE kept this. And then this war is also war for Prince Vela's claim on the Kingdom of Castile. Oh, someone from our house is going to inherit all these titles. A giant wooden horse. Yeah, exactly, with mysterious people inside. Um, we probably should come and help in this, because Prince Sigismund... Wasn't he Warhammer? Uh, isn't he the head of the... Sigismund? Is he the Emperor? I know he's in Warhammer 40k as well. Um, but yeah, our nephew here is going to inherit... The Kingdom of Bohemia and the Kingdom of Castile. Was he not? Landorf. Oh no, a different person's gonna. Oh, do they have elective? House seniority. Oh no, he's not gonna inherit it. No, he's got house seniority. So it's not gonna move. Well, in that case, I won't go help because I don't care. <laughs> if he's not gonna inherit any of it, I don't care. Uh, we have got a rebellion that's going to spawn. Which one is it? It's this one. Peasant rabble? Maybe. Oh, we can usurp the title. We'll take that, and then we'll just give it to this guy. Uh, no. No, 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 no. No, we need to keep it until we form the Empire. Almost messed up there. It would have been funny to fight that entire war and then just give away the title by accident. Let's keep investing in these. I do want to upgrade some of these castles, but yeah, that's the largest one we can build. Oh, yeah, I haven't got the money anymore because I've spent it all. Although he can ransom some chaps. There we go. Oh, these guys lost. So we can probably just force vassalize this guy, can't we? Oh, no, he's too big. He's too big. But we can declare war on him now because we don't have the... Um, we don't have the truce with him anymore because it's a different guy. Uh, so yeah, we should be able to form the Empire after we win this war. So guys, on that note, we've got, uh, what, like an hour and a half left. Um, we're going to form the Empire if, you, uh, if you've not already, if you've been joining the stream today. I can see a couple of you, or a couple of you have already hit that like button. But if you're enjoying the stream today, hit that like button. Helps the channel grow even further, like I said earlier. We hit that 500 subscribers. Finally. So, um, yeah, if you enjoyed the stream, hit that like button. If you're new to the channel or you're watching on the VODs, subscribe. We play Crusader Kings here every Monday and Tuesday. And then, like I was saying earlier, there's going to be a bonus stream on Friday um, for a couple of hours, a little bit earlier than I usually stream. I've not decided what we're going to play yet, but um, it'll be fun, whatever it is. Peasant Rabble. So, 
<laughs> this army's going to deal with this, and then they're going to go find the uh, the peasant rabble and put them down. 502? Oh, nice. Well, thank you very much for the two people who must have, stream, uh, must have subscribed during the stream today. YouTube's a bit weird. It doesn't, it doesn't show me uh, subscribers during the stream. So, um... Thank you very much, um, everyone who subscribed. I appreciate that. Uh, what was I going to do? Oh yeah, we need to find those peasant, <laughs> peasant rabble. Are they? Is that? Is this it? Is that their entire army? Oh, it is their entire army. A thousand. Well, I'm going to go overkill and send this twenty thousand <laughs> troops over there. There we go. Uh, Total War Attila. Just try and hold Western Roman Empire. Oh, see, that's another game I'd like to play. But again, the uh, the Total War engine just doesn't like my PC. Maybe when I can finally get a PC upgrade, uh, we can play it. For some reason, it might like that one. Uh, if you don't know what you're going to play, we could have a kill campaign. <laughs> Do you know what? I was thinking of going back to EU4. I know I, I know I go round in circles about this. I keep thinking of going back to it, and then, like I say, I played it... Um, I played it a while ago and I just didn't enjoy it. I think they've just put too many mechanics into it and it's just not as enjoyable as it used to be, but uh, we'll see. We might just do a crazy Crusader Kings uh, playthrough, but I've not decided. We might play something totally different. But yeah, we're going to be playing, like I say, a little bit earlier from about midday on Friday Pacific time till about six in the evening, so be about seven hours earlier than I usually stream because I know there's quite a few people who watch the VODs and the videos who are in um, in Europe and stuff like that who would like to watch uh, a live stream or two so we'll see we'll see what we're gonna play I've not decided yet right we've uh, we've grabbed this land we're just gonna give it away to somebody are uh, you gotta go you'll probably be back on Friday well thank you very much Colorado for dropping by it's been a while since we've seen you so hope uh, hope you've been doing well yeah, thanks for uh, thanks for stopping by. Good job. I'm just going to grant him these titles because I don't really care. He'll uh, he'll convert, I would think. But I think, unless I've done something wrong, I think we can form the empire now. Uh, well, it hasn't come up, so maybe we can't. Did I do this wrong? Completely control the region of Eltrima. Which bit don't we own? All of this? We do completely control it. The lying game. <laughs> what are you lying? Why are you lying to me? Completely control the region of Utrima. Unless some islands down here? It's in the same realm as you? This is like a tiny... Okay, it comes all the way along here. comes down here. All the way into here. The Oringans... It looks like there is one county in the north. Up north. Oh, this. Oh, yeah. How did I miss that? <laughs> How did I miss that? Yeah, there's this... This guy. He must have come in. Look at it. Look at him. He looks, he looks like a um, Shakespearean, like Richard the <laughs> Third, something like that. I guess he took this, or he probably inherited outside of our realm. Um, but yeah. Okay. Well. Oh yeah, our armies are raised. Let's get rid of those. Where are they? Oh yeah, we were chasing these guys down. Okay, we'll put these guys down, and then we'll, uh, I guess we'll go to war. I don't think any of these are wars directed at us. They're all HRE wars. Oh, he became... So the dude who was uh, the King of Bohemia, who then 
took over the kingdom of Castile. He's now the, the emperor of the HRE. He's married to our sister. <laughs> Didn't plan this. Um, I'm. Oh wait. When he dies, our nephew will become emperor of the HRE. Can we kill him? <laughs> can we like? Can we murder him? Ninety-five percent chance. Let's do it. <laughs> Let's do it. So we'll have our nephew as the emperor of the HRE. We've still got someone from our house in charge of Egypt. I think someone from our house is yeah. Someone from our house is on the Nubian throne. I don't think Abyssinia, no. So we have someone on our... Yeah, someone from our house is on the Nubian throne. Someone from our house is on the Egyptian throne. Don't... And then, yeah, if we can kill him, our nephew will be the emperor of the HRE. And I don't think we have anywhere else. No, because we... Yeah, we, we nearly owned um, England as well. Oh, there we go, Aquitaine. Yeah, Aquitaine's the other one. Uh, there's some from our house is the Queen of Aquitaine. And then, she, yeah, her great grandmother was the Queen of Egypt, uh, Queen of Egypt, the Queen of England, but she lost it uh, at one point. So, yeah, let's kill him. Let's kill the Emperor, because then our uh, our nephew can take over. Uh, right, let's, uh, let's attack you. Oh, no, yeah, our arms are still raised. Ignore me. There we go. You finish that war. Right now we can disband you. Can we invite anyone? Can be convinced. <laughs> oh, oh, we can, we can convince our sister, who is her, uh, his husband, obviously, uh, his wife, and his court chaplain. We can also sway him. Uh, we ain't got much more money, but. We'll invite both those. Uh, I know there's a how yes, there is a dynasty map mode down here. So yeah, unfortunately, because they're sub houses, it splits the color. But yeah, Dionju, Anju, Cairo, Anju, Obied, um, Anju, Warada, and I, I yeah. So I think they're the only one, <laughs> the only ones uh, that we've done. I don't think there's any other. Mysterious Anju people. No. Not bad though. Not bad. We own like Well, once we form an empire, we'll form we'll our house will be in control of the two largest empires uh in the game. Oh no, they wouldn't No, she wouldn't join. And we could sway her. It doesn't matter, we're at 95%, so we're going to kill him anyway. Well, hopefully. Uh, right, we can attack you now. Siege all du jour lands, there we go. And then we can get this empire finally uh, formed. Come on guys, we need some siege equipment in there as well. Well, can we split you in half and half of you? No, that's not what I wanted to do. There we go. You can come up and at least fight their army. Uh, now you need to click uh, the can be convinced, but it's in the submenu. Oh, I thought it would give me the option once I... Uh, oh, yeah, you do it this way. Yeah. Yep. 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 I totally forgot about. It. I thought you bribed. I, I was still thinking of Crusader Kings Two, where you just bribed them and then you went back in, and um, and did it that way. Yeah, that's right. Thanks very much. I totally forgot about that mechanic. Oh, 
Oh, we don't want to lead this army. <laughs> In case they lose. I'll say that it thinks we will lose. Oh, we are going to lose, even though we have more than twice as many men. I guess they had more um, special troops than us. Well, they might hold them up long enough. Can you get up there and help? Probably. Uh, I did the same mistake at first as well. Yeah, I just totally forgot that's what you that's what you did. Anyway, there we go. I'm going to defeat him. Nice. And then this is our... Again, let's split out some of the bombards. And then this army, you can just go straight for their capital. And then these two can go here. Oh wait, no, 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 combine first. No, not you. <laughs> you go here. Uh, we don't want these two attrition themselves to death, so. Yes, I think we're going to kill him. <laughs> we killed him. Empress Sv Svatabor is dead, beaten trampled by his own subjects. The agitated peasants went wild, seeing their liege riding through the streets and tore him, uh, tore both him and several of his knights from their mounts, beating them to death. Many peasants were hanged, including my agitators, which means he cannot be traced back to me. He's dead. So there we go. King Oh wait no did he wait, did he not get Oh he didn't He didn't get made Emperor, even though it said he would. I guess the vote changed right at the end. Oh well. Anyway, he inherited all of Castile and all of Bohemia. So I mean it's not too bad. <laughs> we can't complain too much. He oh, and he took some of Italy? Yeah, so one of his uh, his vassals. Yeah, he took some. Uh, he's got northern Italy. He's got this bit of France, Germany, Switzerland, whatever, wherever this bit is, and then obviously all of Bohemia, and yeah, all of uh, all of Castile as well. So okay, well we didn't we didn't make him emperor, but we're not doing too bad. We're not doing too bad. Um, maybe he'll make himself emperor, but. Uh, Nice. Well, good times all around. Yeah, I guess he, he they voted for somebody else, I guess, right at the last minute. Or however that works, I forget, because I've not played in the HRE for a, for a long time. Uh, we can do this. We can use uh, Oh, we can't use it at the moment. We are in debt. We are. <laughs> we are in debt. Uh, let's ask the Pope for some money. Give us some money, please. There we go. We don't want to be seeing debt for a long time, so let's get that sorted out first. Oh, we inherited this, which we don't want to do. Oh, we captured him. Yeah, we captured our foe, the Sultan Yunus. Forced demands. Uh, can you guys come down here? Call hunt. Oh, oh, wait, is there more? <laughs> no, we do hold on. Oh, is it, do, oh, we have to be at peace now. So, okay, we need to not join any more wars. We need to be at peace. And then we can form the empire. So we might come and help in these wars just to get them finished sooner. Right, which wars are these? War for Count Herman's claim on the HRE. Oh, this is us. Oh, no, 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 no. This is the other guy.
Oh, I don't know why we're allied to it, though. It's probably through uh, the other thing that we have. Uh, right, who's attacking him? This guy? Okay, so what we'll do is we'll raise some of our army up here in Savoy. Oh, we had a spawn. Yeah, we do. There it is. So yeah, we'll come up and help, we'll get these wars finished, and then we should be able to um, um, form this thing. Oh, there's another war in it as well. Or is that the same one? Oh no, Count Herman's claim. Count Anslem's claim. Well, we'll just go to war. <laughs> we'll just go help them however we can. Um, doesn't really matter too much. We'll just get this going, then we'll just siege down whatever lands. We just want to kind of get these wars finished as soon as we can, to be honest. And, uh... Yeah, let's see how it goes. Come on, come on. I need the siege equipment. We can stop this gathering as soon as the siege equipment hits. Okay, well, we'll stop it anyway. <laughs> then we'll just do it this way. Just raise the men at arms. And then we'll just come up here and jump. We'll see to this. Way more troops than we need, but I'm not actually sure how big their armies are. 13,000. 53,000. <laughs> okay, that one might be a, a spicy uh, spicy battle or two for us. We'll see how it... Uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh! Oh, they all became invalidated. I guess he died? It happened! <laughs> he did. He did either. I guess he. I guess he died. Empress Sigismund. There we go. It happened. From House Anjou. He is. King of King of Castile. King of Bohemia. And. Emperor, of the Holy Roman Empire. There we go. We could have. Uh, We've done rather well for us. <laughs> there we go. Anjou has not even formed a sub, uh, a sub um, house yet. He probably will do in a second, but um, at the moment it is just Anjou. He has not changed yet to a sub house like these guys did. <laughs> Look at that. That's crazy. If we could unify them into one thing, if we changed like house seniority or something, uh, we could <laughs> we could combine them together. If we did house seniority and then killed our leader, maybe? I'm not going to do it because it's, it's going to be crazy, but um, yeah, that's rather good. We should be able to, though, form the Ultrama Empire. Only once the Golden Cross shines from Ascalon to Omar and the infidels have been truly cast out of the Holy Land will the sacred mission of the Crusades be achieved. The Empire is established. We get 150 prestige. And 100 piety so the one issue i have with this is the same issue i have with nearly all of these decisions that are similar like form uh the russian empire whatever form rome the roman empire is i think the amount of prestige you get is shockingly low <laughs> for forming this empire i kind of feel like they should give you renown instead or something because like that's terrible you can get 150 prestige from winning a battle uh, I think forming something like this should give you, like, well, at least 10 times as much prestige. But I wonder if it should give you renown instead. Something that gives you, like, a lasting bonus for doing it. So maybe it gives you a... For me, personally, I'd change it so it, ga so it gave you, like, um, a full legacy, maybe. Not a full, like, tree. But like one one bar it just filled this bar up once 
so that you could get you could just buy a legacy upgrade or something so like a just like a lasting like uh you know like a lasting improvement be like hey i formed this empire and it boosted our house or something because obviously it'd be pretty pretty important doing that kind of thing uh like if you reform an empire megrods have tried and failed to do like rome <laughs> Exactly, like if you do something like that and you get a hundred prestige and you're like I can get that from marrying someone. Um yeah, I, I might leave it as feedback in the Discord. I'm not sure somebody somebody else probably has already, but uh yeah, I really think these should be different. Like you get way more or like I say it gives you renown or something that's like way more long lasting. Because obviously it's quite a it's quite a lot of work. Like the one we did Unite the Slavs, which is like take over all of Eastern Europe. You get like 700 prestige. <laughs> it should give you like one full block of renown or something. Anyway, uh, we, we're going to get this empire. You adopt Altrima culture, which we already are. Uh, Catholicism further increases by 15. And the culture drew some changes to Altrima, which it already is. Uh, anyway, let's do it. The Empire of Heaven. Since the rise of Muhammad, the Muslim religion has been a force to be reckoned with throughout the East and a looming threat for the worshippers of Christ. Yet, thanks to my efforts to secure the Holy Land, this is no longer the case. I have pushed the infidels from the Mediterranean coasts and pursued them past the scorching deserts of Arabia, and I have planted the Holy Cross of our Lord from sea to sea and forged a true empire of heaven over the broken crescent of the false prophet. May God have mercy on them, for I have none. <laughs> that is a pretty cool line. There we go. We are now a mighty emperor. Amazing. We made it. End the Great Schism? We could do that. I need to tell you what. Byzantium? That'd be easy. Alexandria? Wouldn't be too hard. And Rome. Constantinople is under Catholic rule. Oh, which it would do once we took Byzantium to guys. And there we go, we get some uh, bonus things as well. So I think that actually just finishes off. Yeah, we got Gilman. We're working on this. And we, we've almost finished this. Three months. And then all we'll have left to do is get is, is this old one that we picked up. But there we go, we formed it. Amazing. Now we can use up this as well. We hold too many duchies. Yeah, that's the one we just took. Which is here. So we'll give that to this guy. We probably should give away some of these kingdoms, to be honest. At this point. Because then we can get rid of all these people that are... That are, uh, you know, vassals of ours, like all these guys. We might do that. Uh, well, thank you very much, Uber Epic Zach. Do you know what? This has been really good. Uh, for anyone watching the stream now or in the uh, watching the VODs, Uber Epic Zach here is the, uh, is the uh, mod creator. I always get it wrong. The main, the main dude for the mod. So, uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this, play the mod. It's really, really good. I really enjoy the stuff it, it brings to uh, this unique bookmark and the extra events and stuff like that so a uh, really good mod we're going to carry on playing this for the rest of the stream today and then like and then we're going to start uh, either on friday or next week we're going to start a new campaign i think we're going to go for one of the quick um, achievements i don't have like fast than the fox or i think there's one or two others can you see them yes so i think we're going to go for oh we haven't got emerald isle Oh, we might do that one. That's quite a quite an easy-ish one. Oh, we've also, we've almost got well, we've also got almost there, but we've played in Hungary and that area a lot recently. Uh, Frank uh, Kretia. Oh, that one's quite a good one. Norman Yoke. That is also another one. Good one. Last count, first king. I thought we had this achievement. I guess not. Um. Wily is the fox, and then faster than the fox, we don't have either. So they're kind of, kind of a cool double one to, to do one of them, and then have another campaign doing the the other option. So yeah, I think we'll probably do that as our next campaign. Like I said, that probably start next week, um, unless I decide to start on Friday, but I probably won't. Um, 
Oh, nice. You know, let's go on pilgrimage to Sapri. And then, yeah, we're gonna... I don't know what to do next, actually. We might go, try to go after Egypt. Are you just fossilized to us? <laughs> Joey's only at minus 15. He'll almost just willingly vassalize to us. Minus nine. It's so close. <laughs> do Emerald Isle with ap apocalyptic adventurers? That would be pretty fun to do. You have to do Emerald Isle in one life, I think. Do you? That'd be quite a cool one to do then, anyway. I don't think it's under one lifetime, is it? Star no, you just have to start as an Irish ruler. Start as an Irish ruler, hold the Kingdom of Ireland. Do you know what? We might do that one. That might be the next campaign, because we haven't played in Ireland. I don't think at all since the... Uh, since it came out, so... Yeah, I think we might do that one next. And in the last count, first king, you have to do one lifetime. Do you? <laughs> I know there are some that are like that, and I hate those achievements. I've always hated ones where you have to do within one lifetime, because it's a lot of it's down to chance. As Duke Nuno of Portugal, of Portugal, form Portugal. Do you have to do that as, literally as him? Okay, I probably won't do that one on stream then, because I'll the rage will get me if I die just before I make it. Um, and then obviously we've got Mother of Us All, which is one I'm probably saving that up. I'm going on vacation for a week during October. Um, when I come back from that, I think we might do Mother of Us All, because that's another massive campaign. Uh, and funny enough, it was the first campaign we ever tried. So um, that one is... I'm, probably going to save that to the end of October. So yeah, we'll probably do that Irish one, because that one's quite cool. And uh, like a nice different one for us to do. So I don't think we've played in Ireland at all. So yeah, we'll probably do that one next. Um, as the next campaign. Uh, yeah, let's do that. No, anyway, we're going to save up some money, because we've, we've not got a great deal of it. And then we're going to see... Uh, oh, he's no longer at war. Let's see. Will you vassalize to us? No. Ah, oh, so close. <laughs> Those modifiers are just... Yeah, he gets minus 50 for uh, being a king and minus 25 for not rightful liege and the base reluctance. But everything else is almost high enough to, to get him to vassalize to us. Where are you? Will you vassalize? Oh, it's not that far off. I mean, we, they, they'd appear here if they would vassalize to us. Uh, so yeah, we'll wait for some money to come in, and then... Can we attack you anyway? Can we just steal this from you? Oh, we can, <laughs> we can take... We could take all his European... Wait... Uh, yeah, no, yeah, he's allied to Denmark. We could take all these European lands off him, but uh, I don't think we want to do that. <laughs> that seems a bit crazy. Can we usurp his title? Claim a title held by him for yourself. Can we take... <laughs> Can we do this? <laughs> Can we go to war? for your claims <laughs> guys we've got what about 45 minutes of the stream left do we do this do we go to war for the HRE <laughs> and we'll change it to the holy Outrimmer empire I'm kind of tempted to do it we've got more troops than him <laughs> Chad move <laughs> Uh, do you know what? Let's see what, um, can we not get any better marriages? Do it. Do it now. Uh, can we get any decent marriages? Kiev, Rus, France. Oh, we can marry into France. Okay, let's do that. Because then we can just call in all these allies into the war as well. Um, not, oh no. Will we be able to go to war with him? Oh, because I don't think we're allied to him, are we? So, I think we will be able to do this. Uh, 
Uh, not about anyone else. No, there's no other kingdoms we can call in. The Earldom of Richmond. Let's do it. Right, I'm going to get these alliances, and then I think we're going to do it and just see what happens. Especially now we can call France and England into it. Unless they're allied. They're not. Lads. <laughs> do it. We're doing it. We're going to war for the HRE. We're going to call in all our allies. I don't care. We've got 22,000 uh, prestige. So I think we can afford to do this. Captain Mikolaj of the Companions of the Woods. Who are they? The Companions of the Woods? Strategist, drunkard, formidable banneret. Who are these? Are they like a... Oh, a mercenary company. Okay, they've got a cool name. A half-brother. <laughs> there you go, a half-brother's out there in a mercenary company. Yeah, we'll call you to war as well. Oh, we can ally with Egypt? And then can we call Egypt into our into the war as well? Oh, Egypt allied with them? No. Oh. I guess not. I guess they don't want to come to war with us. All to war? No! France, you're supposed to be helping us. Right, let's go. <laughs> let's uh, let's see if we manage this. This would be insane if we manage to do this. Now, who are they attacking? They got declared on by Portugal. Oh no, they they declared war on Portugal. For the French du jour war. France can't de jour own Portugal. <laughs> what? French de jour war. Oh, it's for this bit. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, for the northern bit. Oh, everyone's calling us to war. Uh, I'll accept this, because who cares. And then where's their capital? I'm guessing it's up here somewhere. Yeah, it's here. So I guess we'll just head north, sieging their lands, until we reach their capital. And we'll see how this goes. I'm not convinced we're going to win this, but I think it's going to be fun to, uh, fun to try, so... We'll just see what happens. We'll just see what happens. Because if we do win this, it'd be amazing. Oh, Empress Six. Oh, he's been excommunicated. <laughs> he's just been excommunicated. <laughs> oh, dear. Why? I don't know why he suddenly got excommunicated. I wonder if he asked for money to pay for the army. And then, and then the, the Pope disliked him because of that and excommunicated him. Which I've had happen before. Where I've borrowed money and it's put me into negative, and then the Pope's um, excommunicated me immediately after. Yeah, here comes England to help. And then here's France winning that war against Portugal. And that's a liberty war we don't care about. And then, yeah, the French du jour war. Oh, hello. <laughs> Their entire army's here. Um, I think they're going to go and attack England. If they are, we should help. Come on, get there quicker. Quicker, quicker. Go, 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 go. Oh, we might win this. Yes. We are going to turn that around. Amazing. This is going to be awesome. If we win this, it's going to be insane. Actually, I'm going to leave this behind. I want to keep our armies relatively close to each other.
Oh, actually, yeah. Oh, yeah, he's got a massive rebellion now, I think. Yeah, he's got another war for it, so we need to win this. As quick as we can before that other army wins. But yeah, we're just going to siege our way basically up <laughs> towards their capital. Has he moved it? No, it's still there. And we'll see if this works. Like I say, well, there's a chance if the other rebellion wins first, um, I guess this war will be invalidated. Because we'll no longer have the claim, I guess. So hopefully we win it fast enough. Oh yeah, you're still increasing the development. Uh, how much development does this have? 69 development. Nice. Nice. And then yeah, if we can, if we could subjugate Egypt, to be amazing. So we'd also take all of this then as well. Uh, no, you still have the claim. Oh, will we? Okay, that's not too bad then. Yeah, I wondered whether if if he got removed, whether we'd invalidate the war. But yeah, if it stays, that's that's pretty good. So yeah, we're out of supplies, but I think we'll be fine. These are like cool castles. Look at this one. It's only a size 10. That kind of looks like it's way more... It's way better than a, than a 10. We're just going to be starting losing loads of soldiers now. That's our only problem. But I think we might win the war before that happens. 50,000? Wait. We've only got 10,000. That must be another army stack. Oh, it, it included all the other guys' army. I was going to say, if you had a stack of 50,000, that might cause us problems. But uh, I think... I think we might do this. Uh, <laughs> so many options here. Right, we'll ransom these guys, just to get rid of them. We're at 89%. Where did England go? Oh, did they leave us behind? Are they in a different war? Oh, they're allied with France. Look at that, that classic Jerusalem, France, England alliance of old. <laughs> classic, classic alliances there. Hilariously enough, attacking Portugal. Obviously the longest, one of the longest alliances ever between England and Portugal, so... Kind of funny, they're allied with France. Oh no, there we go, they did win the war. Oh no, they're going to have so many troops. Because <laughs> I think all these troops will turn into being against us, won't they? I think. Oh no, it reset our progress as well to, to 59%. Instead, if we were at like 90% there. Did they move the capital? Oh, it did. It went all the way down here. It's miles away. Oh, England is still here. There we go. They're right next to us. I thought they'd moved. I thought they'd left us behind. But no. Yeah, we are losing a lot of troops, so we might start getting, yeah, some of these other rebellions happening against us. Fortunately, but we, we if they are uh, religious rebellions, we can call up the. Uh, oh, hello. Let's get out of here. <laughs> uh, we can call up the. Um, uh, dudes. Oh, we can stay here to resupply, actually.
Nice, we're going to win this. This might give us the, the warp percentage we need. Oh, it didn't give us any? Okay. It gave us zero warp percentage. Are we already maxed it out? No, we've got zero. I have no idea why that didn't give us any... Um... Oh well, never mind. Ignore me. Yeah, it looks like this is going to spawn, but I think we might be able to manage it. Because we can... Uh, I mean, we've got enough money, we can get some uh, mercenaries as well, if we have to. We'll see. This will be quite a fitting end um, to the uh, to the campaign if we can pull this off. I mean, I think we just cost him his realm, <laughs> so we better had make it in a way. Because uh, yeah, I think our wars here pretty much just cost him his throne anyway. I don't know where he is. I don't know if he's heading down to to attack us. I don't think he is. I've no idea where his army is, but. Oh, we're at 93%, so if we siege these down, um, I think we might have this one. It's going to be very close, if not. Lads, it's happening. Force demands the Utrima claim on the Holy Roman Empire. Done. <laughs> Guys, we did it. We did it. The the the, the lunacy. <laughs> Has was successful. I'm going to have to screenshot that before uh before we lose it to a rebellion or something. There we go. Now, do we do we rename it or do or do we just leave it? As, uh, as this. Do we rename it to the Holy Outrema Empire? Holy Roman Outrema. <laughs> the H-R-O-E. <laughs> Nominate successor. Can we change this now? I'm guessing not. I guess we can't change the... Can we, ch can we remove the law from this? No longer of its own title succession. Cost 10,000 prestige. <laughs> it's going to cost us 10,000 prestige to remove uh, the princely elective. Um, remove. <laughs> now it's going to stay within our... It's just going to have a uh, primogenitor like we have. So it's not going to... That was worth 10,000 prestige. It was only half our prestige. Uh, but yeah, there we go. There we go. We uh, we did it. <laughs> the absolute madness. Uh, we can usurp the Kingdom of Navarra. Yeah, we'll take that. Thank you very much. We can take the Duchy of Navarra. Thank you very much. Uh, we can create all these kingdoms. I guess they're all the ones within here. Corinthia. Overall, vassal limit. Yeah, I'm going to give these away, so... Yeah, we're probably pretty majorly over our vassal limit now. Yeah, because all these duchies also need to be formed, so... Yeah, that's not too surprising. Um, yeah, we'll give away some of these kingdom titles. Although, I think we also have too many duchies. Yes. Yeah, so Navarra, we'll give this away to... This guy. Uh, oh, wait, no. No, he owns it. We'll give him uh, Duchy of Navarra. <laughs> there we go. And the kingdom. How many are we over? 
Uh, yeah, I understand. <laughs> I understand we're way over it. How many are we over? 80 out of 60. Okay, that, that's a couple. That's a couple over it. Uh, so yeah, what we'll do is we'll give away some of these kingdoms. Because then that'll get rid of a, all the... Um, all the lower uh, titles as well within that realm. So yeah, like Kingdom of Burgundy. We can give this away to... Uh, like this guy. We can make him the King of Burgundy. And that'll give him all the all the dukes that are supposedly below him. And then that'll lower our... Uh, that'll lower our vassal limit. We'll do we'll do that with a couple of them. Yeah, Aragon will give away to this dude. Uh, da, 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 da. It's got to be in here somewhere. There it is. Oh, we, <laughs> we can't actually give away any of the others. They must be owned by somebody else. Uh, okay. Next one, Kingdom of Bavaria, which is here. We'll give that to the... Oh, wow, look at this guy. I mean, we've got to give it to him. Duke Eckhard of Bavaria. I mean, look how much of a, how much of a lad he is. Uh, where are you? There you are. And there we go. We can give one of these dukes to him. Let's have a look. Where are we at now? 71 out of 60. We're getting there. We're getting there slowly. We, we The thing is, we can't unpause. Because if we do, we're going to have horrendous modifiers for being this far over uh, the duchy limit. So that's why we're going to, unfortunately, have to slow down a little bit. Give these away. Otherwise, we're going to be in a, in a world of trouble. There we go. That's given him some of these. Uh, yep, that's all of those. Again, we'll do another one. Kingdom of Corinthia. This one. We'll grant that to this guy. As he's the Duke of Corinthia. I mean, this does also get rid of a bunch of uh, direct vassals to us that might just cause us trouble in other uh, in other reasons as well. Uh, Kingdom of Frisia. Yeah, we'll give that away to this guy of Holland. Kind of fitting. Oh, yeah, no direct, no direct vessels we could actually give him. Oh, we're actually under the limit now. By the looks of it. I mean, we, we probably should give away some more. Yeah, we're at 59 out of 60. So, um, to be honest, we might give away... Uh, I kind of want to keep all these ones where we are. Could give away the Kingdom of Germany. That would get rid of a bunch of... Yeah, that'll get rid of so many dukes that are reporting to us. Uh, we'll give it to... Uh, this guy? Look at him. He, he look. I mean, look how German he looks. He is... Yeah, he personifies Germany. <laughs> so he is, he is getting it. He's probably going to be so big now he'll rebel against us, but it doesn't really matter. Um, right, now let's see who should be on our... Oh, court. None of these guys. <laughs> None of you are important enough anymore. You're all a bunch of nobodies compared to these guys. And there we go, guys. Uh, yeah, we can unpause now. We're probably going to get crazy rebellions against us at some point. And yeah, we're still in these wars. We, I suppose we sh we probably should come and help France in this war. Um, I mean, they didn't help us, so I guess we've got no reason really, but kind of feel bad not doing it. So uh, we'll do this to pass a little bit, uh, a little bit more. Uh, well, I suppose they'll gather this, and then when we attack France, uh, it'll be part of us, which <laughs> will be worth it. Oh, 14 months. Okay, it's going to take forever. 
Well, actually, we'll cancel this, and then we'll just tell them to raise only the men-at-arms. So we don't need way more troops than that. Uh, oh, neighbors can be vassalized. Toulouse. Oh, that the Navarran dude will join us. And then Count Gaston of Toulouse is also going to vassalize to us. Uh, welcome, Super Cheese. You've joined us just as the Outram Empire was formed and then took over the Holy Roman Empire. So almost World Conquest. <laughs> Uh, to be honest, if we were going to carry on playing this, we'd have a hundred years. Uh, we probably could get the closest I've almost got to a world conquest. To be honest. Hey, there we go. Our realms are connected now. So yeah, not not too bad. We could probably connect them up here without too much trouble. Um, although I do feel like we'll probably get some nasty uh, rebellions happening at some point. Uh, do you know let's hold a feast because we've got all these new things to do. Oh, yes, yeah, so we've got the Restore the Roman Empire option now. Uh, we can nearly form a university. <laughs> Convert to a republic. We should just do that for the fun of it. <laughs> we made this big then. Republic Holy Ultrama Empire. And then, yeah, currently we're just helping France in this war, just because, why not? And then we've got about, like I said, we've probably got about 20 minutes of the stream left, so we might go do something else, like take over Egypt. Can we get a claim on you? Oh, oh no, we're, we're allied with them, aren't they? Yeah, I forgot we allied with them. I mean, it's a shame you won't just vassalize to us. Uh, can we get a claim on you? Maybe. Oh, wait! Oh, no, 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 no. Anjou. No, he is still there. Claim title. Claim. <laughs> We're going to go to war for Nubia next. Uh, we'll help in this war still with France. We might as well. Our armies here. You should form the Holy Roman Roman. <laughs> I wonder what would happen when we formed it. I think it just changes the name, doesn't it, to, to the Roman Empire, but... That would be pretty... Oh, more people will vassalize to us now. Gascon will come and join us. So will Alcyon. I guess they're in here somewhere. Yeah, there they are. These two are going to join us. Willingly. They've seen how well we treat people, see, and they're like, let's go join them. They're good lads over there. Twenty thousand. Uh, do you know what? I kind of feel like we'll just raise everyone, and we'll see what this gets up to. And then, yeah, we can. Oh, are they sieging down Paris? Oh, they are. Forty-seven thousand. I think that's enough, guys. What do you think? <laughs> 50,000? I think that'll do it. I'm not sure. I think so. And even with 50,000 troops raised, we're still making 50 gold a month. Oh, someone just got independence. Was that against us? I think that was the one we were allied in. Yeah, I think it was. Yeah, it wasn't any of our actual uh, realm. There we go, we just defeated the whole Portuguese army. I kind of get a feeling they'll probably white piece this out though before too long. Anyone else wanted? Oh, yeah, someone else will join us. I don't know why they're all suddenly joining us, but I'll take it. The Duchess of Mus. Okay, yeah. Sure. <laughs> We're vassalizing this random duchy. <laughs> I guess it's attached to our lands, but. <laughs> oh, someone else has joined. 
Pomerelia now wants to join us. Look at that, everyone wants to join us. They've heard the good times that I had in the Utrumer Empire. And they're all just like, can we join? <laughs> Please. <laughs> now we just need to like vassalize France and we'll be uh, we'll be having to ride all the time. We're gonna have to keep an eye on this, because they just I guess because as the opinion keeps ticking up, um they keep joining us. Yeah, exactly. The holy Utrama Empire is is here. So I think this rebellion might actually spawn this time. Oh, independence faction? Is this gonna be all the kings we just made? Count Oh, she just joined us. We had this happen before, so she just willingly vassalized to us. And now she's joined an independence faction to no longer be vassalized to us. <laughs> I always find it funny when that happens. Gascon, yeah, these two. Yeah, all of these just joined us. Toulouse. So these are all the dukes who just joined us willingly. And now they're all starting an independence faction against us to say, I don't like being part of your, <laughs> your realm. So that's nice. Uh, let's remove this. Uh, actually, we won't, probably want to remove the siege that's on uh, Paris. That'll probably win this war for us, I think. So yeah, it's always funny when that happens. I think it's pretty crazy. But uh, I guess that's just the game being a bit weird. I guess because it's only just high enough for them to vassalize to you willingly, but then it's like so close that when they join you, they don't like you enough to actually be like, oh, I want to stay now. It's kind of weird how it works. Anyway, if they rebel against us, we'll just crush them. So, here's what it is. Uh, okay, so one of them left. Do you know what? We could just send them all a gift. They'll probably all leave this rebellion. And we've got so much money, it doesn't matter. Come on, guys. You want to leave this rebellion? You don't want to join it. Yeah, there we go. Too weak. I'm too weak. <laughs> uh, we'll see this down. It's at 74%. So yeah, we've nearly helped France win this war. And then I'm not going to form all these duchies, it's uh, way too much uh, hassle. Why does he not like us? Oh, he's our nephew. Who... So he's still king of Castile and Bohemia. But obviously we took took the, the Roman emperor of the Holy Roman Empire. Tra oh, you keep that? Even after you get removed from being the HRE, uh, the Emperor? Is an Emperor of the HRE? He's not anymore, though. <laughs> we are. Opinion of Gelf characters? Who are they? <laughs> I have no idea who they are. Um, do we have that title then? Oh, we do. Levy size, 10%. I guess you keep it even if you get removed as emperor then. I don't know if that's supposed to happen. But it looks like it does. Anyway, we'll, we'll finish these two sieges and then we'll disband our army. And then we might go and attack Nubia. And uh, see if we can gain some more... Uh... Or oh, Sicily. Sicily might be quite good. You vassalized to us. It's not that far off. It's only minus. They love us though. Plus one hundred. Oh, cause we're a living legend. Yeah, that gives us plus sixty. Yeah, I think even if we give him a gift, it won't. Yeah, cause he's already maxed at one hundred. Yeah.
I mean, these guys must be pretty close to... Yeah, they're in 30s. The funny thing is, if we... I, I wonder if we converted to... We, we're not gonna. But if we converted, would they do it? Do have a different faith? Yeah, if we converted to Orthodox for like a month, all of these would probably vassalize to us. Oh, he's at war, so we can't check. Oh, so is he. <laughs> Empiris, you're not at war. Oh, he wouldn't. He he doesn't like us enough anyway. Oh, because he is actually a king. Yeah, whereas the others are dukes. We're at ninety six percent. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna disband this army because um, France should win this any second. There we go. It's one hundred percent. He did win it. Nice. And then we're in this other war, which is a liberty war that France is fighting. I'm not going to get involved in that. You can just do what you want. Oh, Burgundy's trying to get independence. The funny thing is, if, if Burgundy win this... Oh, no, it's a liberty war. It's not an independence war, so it doesn't actually matter. I was going to say, if it's an independence, they get independence and then probably just join us. <laughs> so, kind of funny. I wonder if he's almost... He's a king, so I don't think he would join us No. This guy loves us as well. Yeah, minus 43. Minus 23. So it's so close that he would join us. If we could get someone from our house onto the throne, they would join us then. I think. Although no, because these won't join us anyway. Yeah, minus 15. He's a king, not rifle liege. Yeah, so it wouldn't work anyway. Oh, Nubia's start to fall apart. Oh yeah, they've lost most of their realm, actually. Come on! You're letting the good name of Anjou fall apart there. I'm, that's that's not right. Look at that. Amazing. Amazing stuff. Um, well, I was going to attack Nubia, but they've kind of fallen apart a bit now. Can we can we not attack you? No, we can't like vassalize, uh, force vassalize you. Uh, he's attacking... Oh, he's attacking the uh, the Mongols that are left. He... No, we can't... Yeah, he's too big to force vassalize. So yeah, I think we'll let this French war finish. And then when this, uh, when this war that Aquitaine is in, when both of those finish, I think they'll join us as well. As they're from our house. Yeah, minus five. So yeah, they would do, because we'd be able to uh, uh, give them, like, the low uh, rules. And I think they'd join us. Oh, we can consecrate our bloodline. That might give us even more. The Pope has... Yeah, he likes us. We're an organized faith. We have one of the holy sites. So this increases Catholicism further by 25. You gain the trait Paragon. And we get 500 renown. Nice. Sacred lineage. My unwavering devotion towards God's representatives on Earth has not gone unnoticed. Pope Martia, Martinus has officially recognized my family's contributions and consecrated our name as eternal defenders of the Catholic faith. Nice. I wonder if that'll give us any more people to join us. No. <laughs> hasn't convinced anyone else. Ransom those. We'll release everyone else. Oh, he's done a crusade. We're going to go to the holy grounds of Zawalid. What? Where's that? Oh, we're heading to... <laughs> he's done a crusade for the, for the tiny bit of Spain that isn't currently uh, under our control. Which is funny because we actually own some of this. So it's literally just for this bit of land here. And this one here, I guess. It's like the tiniest ever. Uh, De Anjou Antioch. No, our cousin? Our sister. Yeah, let's give it to her. We'll donate some gold as well. 
We can spare a few coins. 3,000 gold? We can spare 3,000 gold. <laughs> so let's do it. Not too bad. Not too bad. Yeah. If we can get this Aquitaine War to finish, I think they'll join us. Uh, Lombardy, are you pretty close to vassalizing to us? Sure, you are actually relatively close. Oh, no, they won't do it. They won't do it, guys. They're so close. Minus 17. Ah, not quite. Not quite. I thought that was going to work. I thought they liked us enough, but... Not so much. These guys must be... Yeah, minus 16. So close. Yeah. Uh, anyway, we'll do this crusade then. Starts in 11 months. We'll do the crusade and then uh, that'll be it for... I think we'll finish on having the crusade. And well, the good thing is we can raise our troops here. And then we can literally walk straight into where the crusade is. Which is funny because they're already under attack by somebody else. They're under attack by Portugal? Yeah, so this crusade is literally going to be for this one county. Is they going to lose this war? Portugal's going to take it. <laughs> Look at this guy. <laughs> wow, he's 66. He's finished three whole trees. Oh, he's got theologian, whole of body, herbalist. I, oh no, two event ones. Yeah, they're pretty close to... But yeah, if they win this... Oh, the war finished? Oh. They didn't, they didn't take any land, though. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> we're dead. Do all this. Oh, we're only 15 years old? That's no good. Our wife is 18. Oh, she's the uh, Princess of France? Wait, we're married matrilineally? Uh, no, no. <laughs> no, we don't want that. Can we not... Can we not end this? We do not. We do not want to be matrilineally married to the, queen, to the Princess of France. That, that would be a bad thing <laughs> to happen. But it looks like it is going to happen. I don't know why we can't break this betrothal, though, because... Yeah, this is a... Oh, no, you click them. Yeah, I forgot about that. There we go. Uh, we could marry into Abyssinia. Let's do that. Just kill her. <laughs> We could have just killed her. That would have also worked. <laughs> I, f I forget you have to click on them to end a betrothal. You you don't do it by right-clicking your own character. Uh, it's a bit weird like that. Oh, this is our mother. So yeah, we'll do the crusade and then like I said, that'll be it for today. Uh, but yeah, not too bad. We probably get a bunch of rebellions now. Oh yeah, this is going to be horrendous. Um... So yeah, I think this is a pretty good place to uh, to leave it. When's this going to spawn? Six months? Oh, I think these rebellions might start first. Yeah, they are. Yeah, because all these people are going to hate us now. So we no longer have all the crazy modifiers to make them like us. Which is unfortunate, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, yeah, this is... We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I kind of want to do this crusade first, but we'll... I don't think we'll be able to slow down these. I don't even think if we buy them off. It'll stop it. Because I don't think it's going to amend it enough.
I mean, we've got so much money, we can try. Okay. Uh, no, it didn't despawn. I thought it despawned one of them. Well, it stopped this one from happening. There we go, we came of age. Uh, yeah, we'll go down stewardship. And if we go... This one. And if we went down meritocracy... Uh, no, not merit. Uh, one of them li makes people like you more. Is it this one? Yeah, likable. Yeah, it is merit. It's uh, administrator. Uh, if we went down that, that would probably help us a little bit. Uh, let's hold a... Feast. We'll grant that to somebody. And then we'll see what happens. I, I, I want to delay it long enough that we can do this... Uh, Crusade. 39 days. But I think one of these might spawn... Oh no, no, no. We might slow them down actually. Enough. Send them a gift. Anyway, yeah. This, uh, this crusade is going to start any minute. 18 days. Let's raise our armies here. And there we go, just called the Crusade. So we just have to wait for these troops to uh, to build up enough. We should be getting there. Come on, guys. Faster. <laughs> we want to win this, because then one of our vassal... Uh, someone from our house will take this. Oh, there we go. They've declared independence. Burgundy. <laughs> so, so much of it just went to war against us. But yeah, we'll try finish this, and then... Uh, actually, it was actually less than I thought. It was basically only Burgundy and a couple of other things. Oh, they won that war finally, did France. So yeah, it was actually way less troops... Uh, way less of our realm rebelled than I thought was going to rebel against us, so... Not too bad. Like I said, it shouldn't matter, because we should finish this uh, crusade pretty quickly. Oh, actually, we should have changed this to to this as well. That would have helped us. Oh, well, doesn't matter. Oh, yeah, this, <laughs> this war's almost finished. Come on, let us get to the capital first. I don't think we will. I think this will be... Oh, no, it is going to be sieged by us. Nice. Yeah, we'll not be threatened. Uh, oh, is this the guy that we stole the throne from? Yeah, it is. <laughs> Classic. So, yeah, our realm is now <laughs> falling apart on us, but um, so it doesn't really matter. We're just going to finish this off, and then we're going to be done for uh, done for today. And this campaign, to be honest... 99% We're going to end on a crusade Is the Kingdom of Heaven third crusade mod So I think it's only right that we end it On a successful campaign A uh, successful cru uh, crusade Which we should have at any minute There we go It was worth it, it was worth it It was definitely worth it So there we go, victorious crusade St. George has granted Queen Helvis Who is our our aunt um, she's now Crusader Queen St. George is with us certainly is I'm guessing you won't vassalize to us no well we could bribe her but I still don't think she will no uh, so yeah there we go guys that is where we're going to leave it for today um an amazing campaign, I think. Uh, formed the the Utrima Empire. 
we took over all of Arabia, some of this. We had the crazy Mongol uh, empire that spanned the map almost until it started to fall apart. It hung around for like say nearly 200 years and then yeah the Ultrima taking over the HRE. Worth it just for that. And yeah if we do the old dynasty look. Uh, they lost a lot of Nubia sadly but yeah, we've got the uh, got the house in charge of Egypt. Obviously, we control this, and then um, Tulu. No, Aquitaine is also under our control. Uh, uh, well, control of our house anyway. Um, and yeah, the Capays are down here in <laughs> in Portugal. Wait, is that right? Oh yeah, Portugal is under control of the Capay house, and France isn't. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that is it. And that is how the map is going to finish. Uh, thank you very much, everyone who has followed this campaign. It's been a, it's been a fun one to do. It's a really good mod. If you're interested in the mod at all, give it a download and play. It's it's really good. And they've got more and more updates coming in the future. Um, so it's gonna it's only gonna get better and better. Um, but yeah, like I said, we hit 500 subs during this campaign. So thank you very much, everyone who subscribed. I appreciate it a lot. And if you like the videos, that's helped us get to this number. Uh, like I said, it's going to unlock us some features in YouTube. So that's really cool. And uh, yeah, like I said, there'll be a stream on Friday. I'm not sure what I'm going to play yet. Uh, we might play more Crusader Kings. We might just do a one-off stream playing something else just for the fun of it. And then next week for sure, we're going to do the uh, do the Irish achievement. Because that's going to be a quick one because second week of october um uh, i'm gonna be out for a week on vacation and then when i come back i think we're gonna retry doing mother mother to them all or whatever mother of us all uh which was the first campaign we ever tried and we failed so i think we're gonna try that one again and see how that goes that'll be our like october november <laughs> campaign so it'll take a while um but yeah that's it guys hope you enjoyed it uh have a good week whatever you're getting up to if you're playing games or whatever uh the the Halo uh, multiplayer is free this weekend. Give it a go. It, it looks fun. And um, yeah, I'll see you next time. Have a good time. I'll catch you then.